Chapter 1021 Tit for Tat Translator Born to be Long Chen's actions startled everyone. Even after all this time fighting, the other disciples had been relying on brute force to charge through the ranks of the Dark Devil Leopards. But the Dark Devil Leopards were incredibly quick and powerful. Even Rank 4 Celestials were in constant danger of falling. The disciples were all bunched together in their factions, competing in terms of luck to see who the Dark Devil Leopards would target. While the Leopards were attacking their prey, the other disciples would attack them. But as for the unlucky ones to be targeted by the Dark Devil Leopards, only a few of them managed to survive. This was the method they were using to kill the Dark Devil Leopards. Now that Long Chen had explained their weaknesses and how to take advantage of them, they all followed his lead. And immediately, they felt like killing the Dark Devil Leopards became much easier. Furthermore, they also picked out some elite experts to handle the Leopards. By using this method, it changed from a one-sided slaughter to an even battle. However, although they were powerful, they still didn't possess as much killing power as the disciples on Long Chen's side. In their case, after everyone had begun to cooperate, only a few casualties ever occurred again. As for the other factions, although this method reduced their casualties, their people were still constantly being killed. They were all heavenly geniuses, but unlike the disciples in Long Chen's faction, they were unable to entrust their lives to others. To simplify it, they only fought for themselves. They knew how to kill the Dark Devil Leopards. However, cooperating with others to do it was something else entirely. For them, their comrades were nothing more than strangers. Not bad. Continue like this and cut them down together. The weapons in your hands don't exist just to kill. They are also used to protect. When people don't hesitate to give their lives to you, you'll feel moved and blessed. However, you'll also feel the burden on your shoulders grow heavier. Yes, this is what I was talking about before. The reason for getting stronger. Experts need to know why they want to get stronger. Everyone, keep up. I'm going to charge forward. How can we allow ourselves to fall behind others? Long Chen smiled. Huo Long suddenly roared. Its flame energy exploded in power, and a single swing of its tail killed all the devil beasts in front of it. Come, charge. Let the world see that you are not weak. Long Chen roared and charged forward with Huo Long. He was a blazing streak of light that slaughtered all the dark devil leopards and bone spur devil apes in front of them. One man and one dragon, both possessing an unstoppable air. Standing atop Huo Long's head, Long Chen appeared indescribably domineering. Boss is finally getting serious. Each time I see this, I can't help but get excited. Cried Guo Ran. Brothers, charge with boss. Long Chen was like a blade that viciously stabbed into the sea of devil beasts. The dragon blood warriors followed close behind him, still maintaining a widened formation to reduce the pressure on the disciples behind them as much as possible. It had been a long time since they had seen Long Chen emitting this undefeatable aura on the battlefield. Seeing him like a battle god in the air, they felt their own blood boiling. Even the disciples behind the dragon blood warriors were affected. The other heavenly geniuses looked down on them. The world had abandoned them. They had thought they would die in this trial. But Long Chen had extended a helping hand. Now seeing how mighty Long Chen appeared atop the flame dragon's head, they all felt their blood heating up. Roaring, they charged their way forward. Long Chen's group had originally fallen a dozen miles behind, but now it was like they were blowing through rotting wood. Nothing could stop them. In less than an incense stick's worth of time, they had caught up with the other five factions and were advancing side by side. Seeing them standing on the same level as the five great factions, those disciples felt a burst of pride and let out cheers. Shut up. A group of trash without the slightest standards will never be worth anything. There's still a long way until the trial ends. So what are you getting so excited about? Shouted Wei Changhe from Hu Gishan's faction. They immediately felt embarrassed. This really was too early to be excited. Long Chen ignored him. But Guo Ran said, If you're a man, you should follow your heart's desire. Don't listen to an idiot's bullshit. He's just jealous. So he's trying to belittle and insult you. Your actions have caused certain people to feel uncomfortable inside. That's because your current battle power is even greater than those so-called elites that they picked. It's a slap in their faces, and a very vicious one at that. Your display has proven their blindness. What nonsense. Why would I be jealous over trash? What a huge joke. Furthermore, how are they any stronger than the disciples we chose? Retorted Wei Changhe. Idiot. You still don't want to admit it? Isn't it obvious if you just look at the death ratio? How many people did you have before? And how many do you have now? Furthermore, are you blind? Do you not see how few people are even injured on our side? 
As for you, look, another one of your people died. Just as Guo Ran was speaking, another rank 4 celestial was mercilessly torn apart by a dark devil leopard. The disciples in Long Chen's faction were all shocked. Even rank 4 celestials were killed so easily, but they were still alive. It was all because of the protection of their companions. Although Long Chen had only been leading them for a short few hours, they had now comprehended things that others wouldn't be able to understand in a lifetime. In these short few hours, each one of them had gone through a heaven-toppling transformation. Now that they compared themselves to the other factions, their gratefulness toward Long Chen could no longer be described with words. In their hearts, Long Chen was like a god now, and they were unswervingly loyal to him. HMPH, it's just luck. Let's see just how long you will last, sneered Wei Chang-hei. He clearly had no way to retort. There had been just over 34,000 people at Long Chen's side at the beginning. Now there were still 33,000 people, and only over a thousand people had died. It was practically a miracle. As for the other factions, their losses were shockingly high. Even the 10,000 Insect Guild which only had 20,000 disciples at the beginning had lost 5,000 people now. As for the ones who had lost the most, it was the Heaven Female Alliance. Despite Hua Shiyu and Xiao Ziyan doing their best to protect them, of their original 130,000 members, 30,000 had still died. This trial was too cruel. Xiao Ziyan had already wept several times, almost collapsing. Fortunately, Hua Shiyu was there to support her. At this time, the Dragonblood Legion realized why Long Chen had refused to allow Xiao Ziyan to join twice. Her character was too kind and weak. The Dragonblood Legion truly wasn't suited to her. If she couldn't even handle something like this, there was no way she could handle what would come in the future. For the other factions, their deaths were in the tens of thousands. When it came to true combat power, Long Chen's people were the weakest, but they had the least casualties. This was an indisputable fact. Did your father not teach you that luck is also a kind of power? If your father didn't teach you that, then I'll teach it to you instead, said Guo Ran. The Dragonblood warriors were speechless. Guo Ran always liked to boast about stuff, but was being Wei Chang-hei's father very glorious? That Wei Chang-hei clearly didn't have any experience with this kind of thing. He hadn't understood what he had said and he sneered. You just have some dog shit luck. And that kind of dog shit luck isn't power. Just coincidence. At this time, the silent Long Chen suddenly opened his mouth. Correct. Dog shit luck won't come very often. But ever since I ran into you, it's different. What are you talking about? Demanded Wei Chang Hei. Idiot. My boss means that you're a lump of dog shit. So every day he sees you, he gets dog shit luck. Translated Guo Ran. You too. Are you looking to die? Aren't you right here? Why would I still need to look for more shit? Sneered Guo Ran. You, Long Chen, control your subordinates. Interjected Hu Gishan. I don't have subordinates. Each member of the Dragonblood Legion is my brother or sister. My brother's words represent my own thoughts. Replied Long Chen coldly. Although Long Chen knew that powerful experts like Hu Gishan and Xinian shouldn't be offended, his experience told him that if he conceded to them, they would definitely push him even further, suppressing him to the point that he was crushed. So Long Chen didn't bother conceding at all. Long Chen, you're too arrogant. Before being so arrogant, you should check whether you have the qualifications or not. Hu Gishan's expression sank. As an unrevealed heavenly genius, he was able to detect that Long Chen wasn't ordinary, but he wasn't able to sense a feeling of mortal danger from him, so he didn't think Long Chen had the ability to challenge them. He had warned him several times. But Long Chen had remained unconcerned. That made him extremely irritated. Moreover, Wei Chang-hei and Han Yunchen were now his subordinates. And they would be capable helpers of his. He had to protect them. He looked favorably on their talent. Once their true combat power also increased to a high enough level. His divine beast mansion would definitely dominate this new generation of disciples. Long Chen's attitude irked him. And if it weren't for the fact that he didn't have the time to handle him. He would have taught a lesson to this brat who didn't know how high the heavens were. Now that Long Chen was leading his group to travel along with the other five factions, Hu Gishan considered it a kind of provocation. If the timing was right, he would have used him to show everyone his power. Arrogant? What a joke. This group of people was abandoned by all of you but has better results than you. So you insult them. Just who is being arrogant? You can act like gods looking down on ants, but you don't have the qualifications to sneer at others. If your ability at reincarnating wasn't better, you wouldn't necessarily be any stronger than them. Do you have to trample over others to prove your own existence? Well, 
I don't really care, but while tramping others, you should be prepared for the people you're trampling to turn the tables and trample you under their feet, said Long Chen indifferently. Hu Gishan's expression became extremely ugly, and killing intent appeared in his eyes. He was just about to speak when terrifying auras appeared from the front. Chapter 1022 Bloodthirsty Devil Lizards Translator Born to be what? What are these monsters? The end of the valley was finally in sight. They could vaguely see some castle walls with countless life forms climbing over them. Those life forms had upper bodies like humans, but lower bodies like lizards. They were three meters tall with scales covering their entire bodies. They had human faces, but their mouths were strangely large, the tips almost reaching their ears. They had sharp teeth, and their pupils were vertical like an alligator's. A long horn could be seen growing out of their foreheads. Everyone's pupils shrank upon seeing those lizard monsters. They sensed a fatal threat from each one of them. Within the broken down castle in front of them, they also saw several huge light barriers. They were round, each covering a hundred mile space. Just as they were bewildered by this sight, Sumo's voice rang out in the air. This is the final step of the trial. These are the strongest monsters from the devil world that you'll face in the trial. Bloodthirsty devil lizards. Each one of them is extremely powerful, comparable to a late 8th rank magical beast. Furthermore, they have no obvious weak points. There's no trick you can use, and the majority of you will die here. Hearing his emotionless words, everyone felt a chill. They could practically smell the bloodthirsty air coming from those lizard monsters. At this time, Sumo's voice rang out once more. However, this trial is not a path of absolute death. Within this abandoned castle, the Deo sect has set up several forbidden regions. Those forbidden regions are the balls of light you see. Each one of them contains an extremely powerful bloodthirsty devil lizard. They are the trials for the commanders. Each faction can choose their strongest expert to challenge the monster inside the light barrier. And if they can kill it within a set amount of time, they will become a core disciple. Furthermore, a few breaths after they kill the monster within, the light barrier will fade. Once it fades, all the disciples in their faction will count as past and be transported to safety. Let me warn you, as soon as you enter the light barrier, the countdown will start. During this time, you cannot retreat from the light barrier or it will be viewed as giving up on the trial and will signify failure. That's all I have to say. The rest is up to you. The bloodthirsty devil lizards have arrived. A fearful shout rang out. People activated their treasure items to attack the lizard monsters charging at them. But they were horrified to find that the lizard monster's scales simply lit up, and their full strength attacks were only able to knock them a few meters back. They weren't injured at all. A-H-H. A miserable scream rang out as a lizard monster charged its way into the hegemon hall, its claw knocking aside a disciple's weapon and its other claw grabbing him. In the blink of an eye, it ate half of the disciple's head, and his miserable scream had barely been released before it bit off the rest of his head. That lizard monster chewed, releasing the chilly sound of bones crunching, looking at its bloody mouth and its sharp teeth. The disciples were terrified. Everyone, listen. Tightened the battle formation. Dragonblood warriors, spread out to guard the outside. I'll leave the flame dragon here to help you. These bloodthirsty devil lizards are too strong, and there's no time to study them. I will kill the monster inside as fast as possible. Just hang on. Long Chen shot straight toward the castle. He could already tell that these lizard monsters had some kind of special defensive ability. Their scales seemed to be able to automatically release something similar to a defensive magical art. He had personally seen that when others had activated the true forms of their treasure items to attack, the scales on the lizard's bodies had flashed for an instant, and the space around them had twisted. Those people's attacks had rebounded. That was the most difficult thing. Their offense and defense were both so powerful, and their movements were nimble. There really weren't any particular weak points to them. The only way to kill them was through absolute power. Even the dragonblood warriors would be in danger facing them one on one. As for the others, they were pale. These opponents were not ones they could fight simply by putting their lives on the line. So Long Chen left behind Huo Long to help them while he rushed off. The others also shot over. Hua Shiyu, Fan Song, Hu Gishan, Xinian, and Wang Shen all moved at practically the exact same time as Long Chen. They could all see that they were in a race against time. Long Chen was surprised to see that Xinian had also left behind his flame beast to protect his people. But very quickly, his pupils shrank. Xinian had summoned another flame beast. This flame beast was a giant leopard, and its aura was even stronger than his other flame beast. Damn, he actually subdued two kinds of earth flames? 
No wonder he's such a poser. He really has the qualifications to do so. Although Long Chen looked down on Xinyan as a person, he had no choice but to admit that he was powerful. In the Eastern Wasteland, he had never encountered anyone else in control of an Earth Flame. But here in the Central Plains, he immediately encountered someone with two Earth Flames, both of which were stronger than his Earth Flame. That made him sigh at the difference. Seeing Long Chen looking at his Earth Flame, Xinyan sneered. A sinister glint appeared in his eyes. Long Chen's heart suddenly shook as he sensed some kind of danger. Xinyan had definitely thought of some plot to use against him. Fuck. Did he really think he was so easy to bully? He knew Xinyan was hostile to him, but he didn't care. If Xinyan dared try anything, he would put him in his place. The six of them rushed over to the center of the large but broken down castle. It was unknown how long ago it had been destroyed. It was in ruins, and an aura of rot filled the air. When Long Chen saw that there were six light barriers, he sighed with relief. Even the elders watching sighed with relief. Long Chen's appearance had been extremely unexpected. There had originally only been five core disciple spots, but because of Long Chen's power, they had sent in an application to the Zhuanchen Tower to prepare another spot for Long Chen, but there had been no reply the entire time, causing them to worry. However, the Hall Master, Li Changfang, and a few others didn't find this the slightest bit odd. One for each person. Good. Then I'll be fast. Those children won't be able to last much longer. Long Chen saw that the others had all chosen their own targets. He chose one of the light barriers at the edges. As soon as he entered, he saw that the space inside was far greater than what it appeared on the outside. An ear-piercing roar suddenly came from the center of this space. He saw a bloodthirsty devil lizard that was similar to the others outside, but its body was three times bigger, and its scales were silver white. It hissed at him, revealing a viper-like tongue. There's no time. Long Chen's divine ring appeared behind him, rapidly circulating. Split the heavens. A blood-colored saber image filled the air. It slashed down right on the silver bloodthirsty devil lizard. Long Chen was surprised to see the lizard send out a punch with one of its claws. Boom. Long Chen was blown back his hand feeling numb. It's this powerful. Long Chen was shocked. Just now, although he had merely used the first form of split the heavens, after all the nourishment he had given the divine runes in his acupuncture points, its power was several times greater than when he had previously used the second form of split the heavens. But such a powerful move still ended with him being blown back. As for the silver lizard, its claw wasn't damaged at all, and it once more charged at him. The silver lizard was large but its movements were still extremely nimble. A claw came crashing toward him, and Long Chen hastily dodged. The sharp claws narrowly passed by his face. Lightning finger. At the same time as he dodged, Long Chen pointed out a finger. A bolt of lightning shot out at the lizard's eyes. Its reactions were fast, and it sent out a claw that broke apart the bolt of lightning. However, when it was struck, it clearly stiffened slightly. It works. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised to see this. He hadn't expected a little test to cause such a reaction. This armored monster was actually afraid of lightning. This was unexpected as lightning was most effective against creatures of the sea, and then furred magical beasts. But its effect sharply decreased against armored magical beasts. Some armored magical beasts were even immune to thunder force. But this little test exposed one of the silver lizard's weaknesses to Long Chen, delighting him. He was just about to take advantage of it when he sensed a strange stream of air behind him. He almost instinctively swung his saber behind. Boom. Long Chen shot off like a cannonball. Tearing through the ground. Chapter 1023 Giving Up Translator. Born to be Long Chen coughed up blood. He hadn't thought this silver lizard would be so crafty. At the same time as it had attacked him from the front, it had silently sent out its long tail to strike him from behind as well. If he had been struck directly, then even with his powerful physical body, he would probably have had all his bones broken. Anyone else would just explode instantly. Stabilizing himself, Long Chen wiped off some blood from the corner of his mouth. He was just about to check the other's situation when the silver lizard opened its mouth. A golden ray of light suddenly shot out. Long Chen's scalp turned numb. Without even thinking about it, he used the lightning body blink to dodge to the side. The ray of light shot right past him. It then pierced through the light barrier and struck the castle walls. A huge hole appeared in the wall. Not only that, it continued forward, killing any bloodthirsty devil lizards in its way. Through that hole in the wall, Long Chen saw many female faces. It was the Heaven Female Alliance. Countless shocked expressions could be seen there. They had been lucky just now, 
as this ray of light had shot past them, but if it had been angled just a bit to the side, it would have gone right through them, that would have been a calamity they didn't want to even imagine, not good, seeing the silver lizard once more open its mouth, Long Chen's heart turned cold, the direction it was facing was the army outside, if it once more attacked, who knew if those disciples would be so lucky again? But the silver lizard didn't give him much time to think. Its next attack was being prepared and would come out quickly. He couldn't dodge it again. Lightning finger. Seeing it open its mouth. A sphere of light fully condensed inside. Long Chen quickly shot out a bolt of lightning that entered its mouth. That silver lizard hadn't expected Long Chen to take advantage of when it was unleashing its attack. Its attack had only just formed and it hadn't had time to release it when the lightning arrow struck it. Go ahead and explode. Boom. The ball of light exploded in the lizard's mouth. Its mouth shattered along with its lower head. Damn it. This monster's aura didn't drop at all. Long Chen had thought it was over now that its attack had exploded inside its head. But he suddenly realized that the heavily injured lizard's aura was as fierce as ever. That meant its vital point wasn't its head. It was very likely similar to a Needon magical beast. Unless its Needon was destroyed, its body wouldn't die. Long Chen suddenly launched an attack, slashing his saber at it. It was just an ordinary attack, because he had no time to charge up a magical art. He couldn't give it any breathing room. Long Chen's saber slashed toward its head. He wanted to completely destroy its head, but it instinctively blocked with its arms. If he could have destroyed its head with this move, then his victory would just be a matter of time. It would run out of energy eventually. But this silver lizard's power far exceeded Long Chen's expectations. If he hadn't been lucky and managed to use his thunder force to cause its attack to self-destruct, the consequences would have been too horrible to imagine. It was truly worthy of being the trial for core disciples. Although it had only revealed a portion of its power, it was enough to deeply shock Long Chen. It definitely had the power to push him to the brink, and maybe even into death. Having failed with this attack, Long Chen extended his left hand. A lightning sphere shot out. He couldn't give it any chance to recover. The lightning sphere exploded on the lizard's body. It let out a bizarre cry, and its body stiffened. Long Chen was already in the air, his saber raised. 27 of his acupuncture points had been activated, and a fierce aura soared into the sky. Only 18 of these acupuncture points had full-grown divine runes on them. He was able to unleash the second form of split the heavens perfectly, but the third form's divine runes were still in their initial states. They were still being nourished by his spiritual yuan. But despite that, they were strengthening with each passing day. The power of split the heavens also increased with them. Long Chen was accumulating his energy for the third form. He was confident that despite the silver lizard's power, once it was struck by this blow, it would at least be heavily injured. Then he could easily kill it. But just at this moment, his expression completely changed. He hastily looked at the distant battlefield. Panicked cries rang out along with loud cursing. A huge flame beast had charged the dragon blood legion and was attacking Huo Long. Xinian, you must want to die, roared Long Chen. That flame beast was Xinian's earth flame. For him to send it to attack Huo Long, he was too despicable. Xinian had already suppressed his silver bloodthirsty devil lizard with his other earth flame. Looking at the furious Long Chen, he sneered. Sorry, my flame beast suddenly stopped listening to orders. I'm trying to communicate with it right now and I'm sure I'll regain control quickly. Just wait, said Xinian. Right now, his other earth flame beast was unleashing powerful attacks on his silver lizard. He also had a long flame chain in his hand that had bound it. That silver lizard was unable to escape no matter how hard it struggled. Xinian had taken the absolute advantage. Thus, killing his silver lizard was just a matter of time. As for trying to communicate with his earth flame, that was absolute nonsense. The earth flame beast he was controlling was facing the silver lizard head on, while he provided assistance. After a few testing blows, he had gained control of the rhythm and laid down a trap that had cleanly caught the silver lizard. He had originally thought that he would be the fastest one to suppress a silver lizard. The others still hadn't gained an absolute advantage like him, but when he had looked over at Long Chen, he had been shocked. The silver lizard Long Chen was fighting already had half its head destroyed. Xinian had looked over just in time to see Long Chen use a lightning sphere to paralyze his own silver lizard and prepare an attack to kill it. Xinian was startled and infuriated, unable to accept that the person he looked down upon would kill a silver lizard before him. This core disciple trial was their first step to rallying their supporters. While everyone was in danger, they would save them all. 
and the disciples who lived would follow them unswervingly, but the person who killed their silver lizard first would raise the greatest morale, that related to their future rankings, and Xinyan couldn't allow Long Chen to get a head start on him, as a result, just as Long Chen had taken the absolute advantage. Xinyan ordered his other flame beast that was still outside to attack Long Chen's flame dragon. Long Chen's faction immediately panicked. Huo Long was their faction's greatest defensive shield. Now that it was attacked, their defensive line immediately collapsed, and the ordinary disciples were exposed to the bloodthirsty devil lizards. Most sinister of all, Xinyan had his flame beast attack all out. It clamped down on Huo Long's neck and refused to let go. It was actually devouring Huo Long's energy. Huo Long had already spent a great deal of its energy on protecting the ordinary disciples behind it, as those had been Long Chen's orders. As a result, this sudden sneak attack put it at an immense disadvantage. Despite doing its best, it was unable to reverse the tide. This sudden turn of events also caught Guo Ran and the others by surprise. They wanted to help Huo Long, but now an unending tide of bloodthirsty devil lizards charged over. They had no choice but to go all out killing them or the ordinary disciples would all be slaughtered. Even so, the ordinary disciples were falling one by one. With their defensive line in tatters, they were as weak as paper in front of these bloodthirsty devil lizards. Their blood dyed the ground, and seeing the people beside them falling, the ones still alive all turned scarlet eyed. Those people were their brothers who they had entrusted their lives to. In the same manner, their lives had been entrusted to them. Seeing them dying one by one, they let out their bestial roars. Without a care for their lives, they charged at the bloodthirsty devil lizards, unleashing fatal attacks. Don't worry, Long Chen, I'll quickly regain control. Very quickly, seeing Long Chen's eyes seeming to spit flames, Xinyan reassured him. Long Chen glanced from the recovering silver lizard in front of him to the sneering Xinyan. An icy emotion crept over his heart. In front of countless people's shocked gazes, Long Chen directly left his light barrier and rushed back to the dragon blood legion. He he gave up. The countless people whose attention had been drawn over were all stunned. He had no choice but to give up. Huo Long was being suppressed, and the flame beast was in the midst of devouring its power. Huo Long was growing weaker and weaker. Furthermore, those disciples were dying too quickly. Although it would have only taken him a few breaths to kill his silver lizard, those few breaths represented thousands of lives that would be forever gone from this world. Furthermore, even after killing it, he would need some time to send everyone to safety. The number of people that would die during that time was unacceptable to Long Chen. Boss, you, Guo Ran and the others didn't know what to feel upon seeing Long Chen give up his core disciple spot. We can talk about other things later. First, save them. Long Chen waved his hand, and dragon roaring filled the air. A huge lightning dragon flew out at the endless bloodthirsty devil lizards. Chapter 1024 Devouring the Flame Beast Translator born to be Lai Long charged out, lighting up the sky. It pounced on the bloodthirsty devil lizards, and its powerful thunder force caused them to explode one by one. Long Chen was unaware that the devil world's creatures were all restrained by thunder force. That was especially true since his thunder force came from the Nine Heavens Tribulation Lightning. It was the most supreme Yang existence, and so its effect was even greater than the flame dragons. Lai Long's arrival immediately reversed the tides. Under Guo Ran's command, they tightened their battle formation and focused on defense. Lai Long had filled the void left by Huo Long. Now they were safe. But when they clearly saw how many of them were left, all their eyes turned red. From the moment Huo Long had been attacked, which caused their defensive line to be broken, until Long Chen returned, only a few breaths had passed. But during that time, half of them had died. Some of them couldn't help but let out bestial roars and weak tears as they looked at the corpses on the ground. Those people were their brothers. These fallen comrades had sacrificed their own lives to protect them. They had only just learned what it meant to entrust their lives to others, what it meant for them to protect each other. But in the blink of an eye, these people had thrown away their own lives to keep their promise. Seeing them lying there, never to move again, an unprecedented pain filled the survivors' hearts. They even wished the ones to die had been them. The Dragonblood warriors profoundly understood this feeling, as they had been life and death brothers for a long time. They knew how this kind of relationship felt, so they understood that pain very well. Long Chen's eyes were icy as he charged at the distant flame beast. That flame beast had its mouth clamped over Huo Long's neck, and it was rapidly absorbing its energy. Without a word, Long Chen slashed down with his saber. His fury had reached a peak. The flame beast was struck in the neck, and the immense power blew it away. 
allowing Huo Long to escape. With a furious roar, it charged at the flame beast. Huo Long was infuriated. Because of the sneak attack, it had been stuck in a disadvantage and unable to reverse the tide nor release any of its power. Now it had to get revenge. Get back. You're not its match right now. Work with me, said Long Chen hastily. The flame beast had already absorbed too much of Huo Long's energy. The flame beast had originally just been a bit stronger, but now the difference was too great. The flame beast roared at Long Chen. That roar seemed to contain a trace of mocking. Long Chen knew that this flame beast was connected to Xin Ian's mind. Everything that had happened was at Xin Ian's will. Xin Ian had originally been thinking of devouring Long Chen's flame dragon while he fought for the core disciple spot, but he hadn't expected Long Chen would actually give up his core disciple spot and return to save these ordinary disciples. You think you can leave now? Keep dreaming. Seeing the flame beast turned around, Long Chen sneered and formed hand seals. Raging flame prison. Flame chains descended from the sky and stabbed into the ground. The flame beast was instantly bound within it. This was why Long Chen didn't let Huo Long attack. It was to prevent the flame beast from escaping. Only when Huo Long was cooperating with him could he capture the flame beast. Space constantly twisted. The flame beast crazily attacked the prison. But this prison was the combination of Long Chen and Huo Long's power. Its own energy was unable to rattle it. The flame prison rapidly shrank. The flame beast was now being compressed into a ball and unable to move. Its struggling was of no avail. Die. The flame prison continued to shrink. And the flame beast had now gone from 5 miles long to 300 meters. And it was only continuing to shrink. Long Chen. You dare. A furious roar came from a distant light barrier. It was Xinian. Right now. He had completely suppressed his silver lizard and was about to kill it. But at the same time. Long Chen had bound his flame beast. At this time. He was unable to help his flame beast escape. Previously, he had forced Long Chen to make a difficult situation. Now Long Chen had placed him in a similar situation. If he wanted to save his flame beast, he would have to give up on killing the silver lizard before him. Just like Long Chen, he would have to give up his core disciple spot. But a core disciple spot was incredibly important. One reason was because of the rewards given out, while the other reason was that within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, only a core disciple had the qualifications to form their own faction. Flame Prison Deep Blow. Long Chen seemed to not hear Xinian. His spiritual Yuan erupted, and the Flame Prison condensed to its peak. The Flame Beast had completely deformed and was unable to even roar. Long Chen, if you dare to hurt my Earth Flame Beast, I will definitely make you die without a grave, roared Xinian. Bang. The Flame Beast had been compressed to the peak, and it suddenly exploded into flame runes. Huo Long flew out and devoured all those runes. They were the essence of the flame beast, equivalent to its flesh and blood. They were treasures to Huo Long. A-H-H-H. Long Chen. Just wait. I will definitely kill you. Seeing his own flame beast being killed, Xin Ian almost exploded. It had to be known that he only had two earth flames, and those two earth flames had cost his family countless resources just to obtain. Furthermore, raising them had exhausted endless manpower and effort. Having one of his flame beasts killed was like having his arm severed. It filled him with pain, and he almost went insane. Boom. Suddenly, heaven and earth shook. The light barrier where Hua Shiaya was exploded. It transformed into runes that flew toward the heaven female alliance. Big sister Shiaya is the most amazing. She's the first to become a core disciple. Everyone, hang on. Victory is in sight, shouted Shao Ziyan. The heaven female alliance was heavily injured right now. They were down to 80,000 disciples from their original 130,000. But with these runes flying over, they had finally reached the end. The runes fell into their midst. When they landed on their bodies, they would instantly vanish. In just a few breaths, the 80,000 disciples of the Heaven Female Alliance disappeared from the battlefield. Boom, boom, boom. Hu Gishan, Fan Song, and Wang's hen's light barriers exploded at almost the same time. The light barriers turned into runes that flew amongst their factions. Those disciples let out a burst of cheering, but those cheers had only just appeared when they became miserable again. By relaxing, they had left an opening for the bloodthirsty devil lizards. Quite a few people died instantly. The flying runes needed a few breaths to send them away. In their excitement, they had actually made such a fatal mistake. Fortunately, they managed to endure the last few breaths. Once they were transported away, there were over a thousand more corpses on the ground. Once those people were killed, another explosion erupted. Xinian had defeated a silver lizard. Just as his light barrier exploded, 
Xinian roared and charged at Long Chen, but the light barrier's runes landed on him and he vanished. His faction also vanished in just a few breaths. Now, the only ones left on the battlefield were the Dragonblood warriors and the surviving ordinary disciples. After devouring the other Earth Flame's essence, Huo Long had transformed once more. It had gone from faint blue to scarlet. When its runes circulated, powerful heat waves roasted the heavens. It had only just devoured the Earth Flame's essence and hadn't had time to digest it. It had no time for that, and it worked together with Lai Long to form a defensive perimeter that protected everyone. Even the sea of bloodthirsty devil lizards was unable to harm the people inside any longer. Sorry, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. We caused you to lose your core disciple spot. The disciples came before Long Chen. Ashamed. For them, he had ordered the Dragonblood warriors to be their shield, which was why so many of them survived. Later, he had established their trust in each other, and he had found the devil monster's fatal weaknesses to help them. He had shown them how to get stronger, and they were endlessly grateful. Even if they died, they would still be eternally grateful. But now, he had sacrificed the most precious core disciple spot in the Zhuanchen Dao sect to help them. They had implicated him. Long Chen shook his head and didn't reply. He checked their numbers. The Dragonblood warriors were all fine, and so was Kayan Duaduo. But now, the ordinary disciples had dropped from 30,000 to 13,000. That number made his eyes turn cold. This was not a mere number, but lives. Each one of them had been carrying their own aspirations, but now they would never be able to achieve those dreams. Long Chen's expression was frighteningly dark. No one dared to say anything. Guo Ran and the others who were familiar with him knew that he had reached the edge of exploding. After an incense stick's worth of time, runes fell from the sky. Long Chen felt his body lighten, and he vanished from the battlefield, appearing in a huge plaza. Long Chen, hand over your life. Long Chen and the others had only just appeared when a furious row rang out. A large hand reached toward Long Chen's throat. Chapter 1025 Vicious Sparring Translator Born to be all the disciples had been transported to the huge plaza. They were jubilant, but one person was extremely gloomy. It was none other than Xinian. They had all been transported to the plaza, but no one here came to greet them. They were practically given the cold shoulder. In truth, this was the Zhuanchen Dao sect's rule. If a disciple failed the core disciple trial, they and their faction would have to endure for an incense stick's amount of time on their own. This was a very cruel punishment. The other factions would have already left, while the remaining ones would have to face a sea of devil monsters. Once Long Chen and the others arrived, they drew everyone's attention. Xinian immediately attacked. Long Chen, hand over your life. Xinian was filled with killing intent, and everyone here knew it. Long Chen had devoured his flame beast. Xinian attacked incredibly quickly. Long Chen had only just appeared and hadn't had a chance to look around. Meanwhile, Xinian's hand had almost reached his throat. Another large hand almost instinctively shot out in a profound arc viciously slapping across Xinian's sinister face. Fuck your mother, you're the one who needs to hand over your life, roared Long Chen. Everyone only saw a blur before Xinian staggered back. His hand missed Long Chen's throat. After slapping him, Long Chen struck like lightning. Before Xinian could react, he grabbed his hair and slammed his head with his knee. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Long Chen repeatedly slammed his knee into Xinian's face. The sound of bones breaking made people cringe. Idiot, a person who can fight my boss at close range has yet to be born, sneered Guo Ran. Long Chen's close range combat skills had been accumulated bit by bit through true battles. The amount of experience he had in that was enough to write a textbook. No one would dare to fight him barehanded. For Xinian to want to subdue Long Chen in one move to humiliate him, it could only be said that he was asking for it. He tried to retaliate several times, but his efforts were all ineffective. Long Chen slammed his kneecap into Xinian's head as hard as he could. He wanted to kill this bastard. He didn't care what reason Xinian had to order his flame beast to attack Huo Long. All he knew was that this bastard's action had caused over 10,000 innocent lives to be lost forever. He wasn't holding back at all. But he was surprised to see that Xinian's head didn't explode. Even a treasure item would have exploded by now. Bastard. Fuck off. Xinian hadn't been able to get free with his hair caught. Now. With a furious roar, he suddenly escaped from Long Chen's grasp. Two huge pieces of his scalp were now gone. Long Chen was carrying two pieces of skin with hair and blood on them. He actually severed his own skin. Startled cries rang out. Even Hua Shiyu, Fan Song and the others had solemn expressions. For martial cultivators, 
Doing such a thing was one of the most ominous things possible. Furthermore, injuries could be quickly healed, but the hair had to grow back naturally. Now he would be in a humiliating state for a long time. Seeing his dense head suddenly become a barren island, all of them thought it was startling as well as funny, but no one dared to laugh. Both Long Chen and Xin were erupting with killing intent. This was no ordinary battle, but a battle to the death. Die. Xin roared furiously. Flame runes formed a pair of wings around him. A majestic aura soared, and terrifying waves of heat rolled out. Everyone hastily retreated as even the air was being ignited. A sensation of mortal danger forced them to run. Only Hua Shiyu, Hu Gishan, Fan Song, and Wang Zhen were able to stay standing in their original locations, coldly staring at the two of them. Let's charge two to get revenge for our fallen brothers, roared the disciples who had survived with the Dragonblood Legion. If it hadn't been for Xinian, their brothers wouldn't have died. A needle-like pain stabbed their hearts when they thought of those people who would forever rest in the trial. Don't mess around. Do you think boss needs your help? Just watch. Guo Ran stopped them from charging forward. But, he, no bots. In this world, no one in the same realm can match boss, said Guo Ran confidently. From the moment he had met Long Chen, he had personally seen Long Chen defaturing countless powerful opponents. He had trampled over the corpses of his enemies, fighting across realms easily. Even against unrevealed heavenly geniuses, Long Chen had maintained an undefeated record. Long Chen has a death wish, but it'll be up to Xinian's gods. I doubt he dare to kill Long Chen, said Hu Gishan. Fan Song and Wang Zhen didn't say anything. They were all experts on the same level, and they were aware of each other's power. So they knew there was an uncrossable gap between Long Chen and them. A furious row rang out as a huge flame leopard appeared in the plaza. Xinian had summoned his flame beast. He had only just summoned the flame beast when the tattoo on Long Chen's arm lit up. Without Long Chen having to do anything, Huo Long automatically flew out. It coiled in the air, glaring at the flame leopard. Earth flames were innate mortal enemies. As long as they saw another, they would want to devour them. It was instinct. The two earth flames caused quite a few people's expressions to drastically change. They sensed their hostility toward each other, as well as their immense power. Once they clashed, it would be a haven-shaking collision. Kill. Long Chen and Xinian both shouted at the same time and charged at each other. Xinian was wrapped in flames, and he held a huge flame blade. Boom. Long Chen's divine ring appeared, and boundless energy poured toward him. His killing intent filled the air as blood drinker slashed onto Xinian's flame blade. Terrifying key waves completely exploded. At the same time as Long Chen and Xinian clashed, Huo Long and the flame leopard crashed into each other. Heaven and earth shook, and flame runes released a blinding light. The two flame beasts released heaven-shaking roars, and their power shook everyone present. They felt like they were suffocating in their presence. As for Long Chen and Xinian, they had also unleashed their killing moves, and had exchanged seven blows without either side being able to suppress the other. What startled Long Chen was that Xinian's flame blade was something he had never encountered before. It was like a true weapon, and when it clashed with Blood Drinker, it actually let out a metallic ringing. Furthermore, it contained some kind of indescribable energy. It was like it was alive. Boom. Blood Drinker and the flame blade once more clashed. Both sides tried to knock the other back, but neither got their wish. They deadlocked in the air. Long Chen, I'll make you pay a price for devouring my earth flame. Killing intent raged in Xinian's eyes. I'll make you pay a price for your idiocy. If I don't kill you, I won't be able to make it up to those fallen brothers. Long Chen glared coldly at Xinian, almost as if he was seeing a dead person. Hearing that, the disciples following Long Chen finally understood why the Dragonblood warriors followed and worshipped Long Chen so fervently. He used his conduct to prove that he was willing to use his life to protect the dignity of his brothers. They weren't even Dragonblood warriors and had only received Long Chen's care through their own luck. But now Long Chen had not only sacrificed his core disciple spot, but he was also making an enemy out of a heavenly genius with unlimited potential for them. Haha, <laughs> do you think you're the savior of the world? Who do you think you are? You want to act like some righteous hero? Within the trial, life and death are destined. The weak should be aware of their weaknesses. Without power, testing their luck is just courting death. Do you think the Zuanshan Dao sect is a charity? By bringing in a group of trash, you're wasting the sect's resources. Their deaths will only benefit the Zuanshan Dao sect you pow. While Xinian energetically talked, he didn't expect Long Chen to suddenly tilt Blood Drinker. Caught off guard, 
Their blades went to the side and Long Chen's hand viciously slapped across his face. I look down the most on people not in touch with reality. Is it so amazing to be born into a rich family? Does being born rich grant you the right to trample over others as you please? Does being born rich gave you the power to treat other people's lives as blades of grass? Long Chen raised Blood Drinker into the sky. Blood Drinker began to unleash waves of saber images that forced back Xinian. Because of the previous face slap, Xinian was unable to recover in time and had no chance to strike back. He was forced back over and over. A light cracking sound came from within Xinian's body as if something had shattered. A strange energy began to surge. Stop. Just at this moment, a cold shout suddenly rang out. Chapter 1026 Zuan Master Translator Born to be the person who had come was Li Changfang. The strange fluctuation from Xinian's body was instantly covered up and disappeared without a trace as if it had never existed. However, it didn't escape Long Chen's spiritual perception. Although he didn't know what it was, he knew Xinian was still hiding his power. In truth, whether it was Xinian or Hua Xiaoyu and the others, they were all hiding their true strength. The power they had displayed so far was nothing more than the tip of the iceberg. They were true experts, and unless they were forced, none of them were willing to expose their trump cards. Once a trump card was exposed, it would no longer be a trump card, and then it would be dangerous. Although their previous displays had all been shocking and impressive, Long Chen trusted that they all had misjivings and were holding back. Elderly, Long Chen said Xinian, we saw everything, and we know who's right and who's wrong. Return to your faction. The welcoming ceremony was about to start, so don't cause a fuss, warned Li Changfeng. Seeing that Li Changfeng didn't give him any chance to explain, anger flashed within Xinian's eyes, but he didn't dare to express it. Putting away his flame beast, he returned to his faction. Long Chen also put away Huo Long and returned to the Dragon Blood Legion. Guo Ran and the others were just about to say something, but Long Chen shook his head. Now was not the time to talk. Everyone, keep your formations clean and tidy. I don't want any trouble, said Li Changfang. As soon as he finished talking, the scene before them changed once more. They appeared in front of a huge tower. This tower was grand and majestic. It took up an area of a hundred miles and soared high into the clouds. It was impossible to see the top. This was the Zhuanshan Dao sect's signature, the Zhuanshan Tower. It was said that it had existed from the day the Zhuanshan Dao sect was established. It was ancient and sacred. There was a crowd of people in front of the Zhuanshan Tower. Long Chen and the others were startled to see that these people numbered in the millions, and most of them were wearing the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciple robes. Furthermore, those people were also curiously looking at them. They were young, and were clearly also newcomers. In truth, what Long Chen and the others didn't know was that these disciples were from the same generation as them. What was different was that most of them were not combat-oriented disciples. Their trials were completely different. Other than these millions of disciples, there were thousands of elders in front of the Zhuanshan Tower. They solemnly stood there, neither speaking nor smiling. These thousands of elders were all kings, and they were the elites of the various departments in the sect. There were many elders that didn't even have the qualifications to participate in this ceremony. This was the terrifying foundation of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Behind the thousands of elders was a platform with 36 seats. Each of those seats had someone in violet gold robe sitting on it. Those were the positions of the experts on the level of hall masters. Behind the 36 hall masters, there was one larger seat with no one sitting on it. With millions of disciples, thousands of kings, and 36 hall master level experts all staring at them, even Long Chen felt a bit nervous. Some disciples could barely breathe from the pressure. This lineup was absolutely shocking. They had never dreamed they would see this many experts gathered together. Gulping sounds could be heard continuously. This huge space was so quiet that even the drop of a pin could be heard. The disciples could almost hear their own heartbeats. Suddenly, a ray of light shot down from the sky. A figure slowly descended onto the large seat. At first, that person had been half-transparent as if he was just an illusion. But by the time he sat on the seat, he appeared completely solid. He was a middle-aged man with a faint halo of light surrounding him. That was no ordinary light. Long Chen could sense some faint immortal spiritual key. This kind of immortal spiritual key was something the Eastern Wasteland Bell had once told Long Chen about. In the same way that spiritual key could be cultivated to spiritual yuan. At the peak of spiritual yuan was immortal yuan. In order to form a strand of immortal yuan, it required one to condense immortal spiritual key first. Once a person's immortal spiritual key filled their whole body, 
they would transcend and become an immortal. Sensing the immortal spiritual key around this person, Long Chen wondered if this was a person who had already touched the barrier to immortality. Becoming an immortal was a very distant legend. It had become nothing more than a myth, but this person made him think of those legends. When this person appeared, it was like the entire world changed. The air was full of an immortal charm, and strange fluctuations caused people's pores to slowly open and greedily absorb his faint aura. Greetings, Zuan Master. All the elders respectfully bowed, and all the disciples knelt on the ground. This wasn't a particular requirement, but this man possessed something that made them feel a profound sense of reverence. They felt like if they didn't bow, it would be as if they had blasphemed a god. Even Hua Shiyu, Hu Gishan, and the others all involuntarily knelt. They didn't feel anything unnatural about bowing toward this person. Instead, they felt like it was only natural. With all the disciples kneeling on the ground, one person instantly became very conspicuous. Only Long Chen was not kneeling. Long Chen could sense that this middle-aged man was incredibly powerful, and he felt reverence for him but it hadn't reached the point where he would prostrate himself toward him. As a result, he instantly became a crane amongst a flock of chickens. Where did this brat come from? Kneel when you see the Zuan master. This order came from none other than the law enforcement hall master. Seeing everyone kneel except for this one person, he directly let out a stern order. Following his shout, everyone's attention was drawn to Long Chen. He was too eye-catching now. The Zuan master also cast his gaze toward him. Long Chen's heart suddenly shook. In that instant, he almost lost consciousness, with all his secrets laid before him. It's fine. The Zuan master smiled slightly, not revealing the slightest displeasure at Long Chen's lack of courtesy. No one noticed that when the Zuan master's gaze met Long Chen's gaze, the soft hair on the back of his neck instantly stood on end. Just how does the Elder Hall raise its disciples for them to not care about the rules at all? Don't you think someone should come out and apologize for this rudeness to the Zuan master? Demanded the law enforcement hall master. Everyone was aware of the conflict between the elder hall and the law enforcement hall. But for the law enforcement hall master to criticize them in front of the new disciples and the Zuan master during this welcoming ceremony was going too far. The hall masters all frowned. The elder hall and the law enforcement hall were the two departments with the greatest responsibility in the Zuanshan Dao sect. The elder hall was in charge of raising the disciples. It was the foundation for the growth and prosperity of the sect as for the law enforcement hall. Its duty was to purify the atmosphere of the sect, to keep it healthy and peaceful, for these two enormous powers to openly display their conflict in front of everyone. Did they not care about the disciples' feelings? Wouldn't this cause all the disciples to question the sect's dignity? If the disciples felt no gratitude to the Elder Hall and no respect of the Law Enforcement Hall, wouldn't the entire sect become a mess? What startled the disciples was that despite the Zuan Master being the person with the highest authority in the Zuan Chandeo sect, he merely smiled amicably and didn't say a word. It's just an apology, isn't it? Then I apologize. Suddenly, Long Chen walked out, interrupting everyone's thoughts. Sorry, Zuan Master. It isn't that disciple was trying to be rude but that disciple's skeleton was different. My kneecaps grew backwards, making it so I can't kneel. What nonsense. You need to be punished, shouted the law enforcement hall master. The elder hall's hall master didn't say a word. He just had a faint smile and watched as if this had nothing to do with him. You're the one who needs to be punished, respected law enforcement hall master. Do you think your current conduct is respectful to the great Zuan master? The Zuan master has already said that it's fine meaning this matter has ended and the ceremony can continue, but you continue to bring it up in order to insult the Elder Hall's elders, in front of the Zuan Master and the disciples, you're intentionally causing trouble, your conduct has already gravely harmed the Law Enforcement Hall and the Elder Hall's images, if you want to be a man of the law, you have to first act like one, as the person with the highest authority in the Law Enforcement Hall, you strike your colleagues and shake the Dao sect's foundation, tell me, are you being respectful to the Zuan master? The law enforcement hall master was unable to retort to Long Chen's sharp questioning. His expression became exceedingly ugly. But on the contrary, the elder hall master's expression was indifferent. He didn't seem pleased. Nor did he try to mock him. Suddenly, a clapping sound rang in the air. The Zuan master himself smiled and said, Good. What a sharp rhetoric and moving speech. I haven't heard such an amazing argument in a long time. Zuan master. The law enforcement hall master's expression changed, and he hastily bowed toward him. When you go back, seal yourself in seclusion for three days. 
If you can't even defeat Chiringa child in an argument, you need more work in that regard, said the Zuan master lightly. Everyone's hearts shook. The Zuan master was essentially imprisoning the law enforcement hall master, and he had announced it in front of everyone. He didn't give him any face. Yes, disciple knows his wrongs. I will reflect upon myself. The law enforcement hall master lowered his head, a hint of anger appearing in his eyes. The Zuan master didn't look at him. Instead, he smiled at Long Chen. Little fellow, is there anything else? Long Chen hesitated, but he shook his head. He returned to his position, unable to comprehend this terrifying expert's thoughts. He'd need more information before saying anything more. Then let the welcoming ceremony begin. Only now did the Zuan master rise from his seat, his gaze sweeping over everyone. Chapter 1027 Deserving a Slap Translator Born to be everyone was completely focused on the Zuan master. They saw him stand and walk to the front of the platform. First of all, congratulations to all of you for passing the inner sect trial. You will be raised as the Zuan Chandeo sect's elites and become the future pillars of the sect regretfully. Many disciples died in the trial and have left this world. But you also know that this isn't because the Deo sect is being vicious, but because this world is just that cruel. Being kind to you now is being cruel to you in the future. When reality strikes you, it will mercilessly reap your lives. You've been living two peaceful lives, and after growing under the wings of your families, you still aren't aware of just how cruel this world is. This is a world where countless people are falling so that you can live your peaceful lives. They have used their own lives to win you your lives, said the Zuan Master. The Zuan Master's voice was low and magnetic, making it very comfortable for these disciples to listen to. His voice was full of sincerity and reached their core. None of them could doubt his words, and as a result, they were deeply shocked by them. Long Chen's heart shook, as expected. Only by reaching higher heights could you see things that you couldn't see before. Long Chen had always felt that there was something wrong with this world. It wasn't as peaceful as he had thought, and the Zuan Master's words confirmed his suspicions. The Central Plains disciples weren't that shocked, but the disciples from the four regions all jumped in fright. The Zuan Master continued, The creatures you encountered in the trial are devil monsters that come from the devil worlds. In places where the world's barriers are weak and in contact with devil worlds, there needs to be people guarding the channel. The Zuan Shindeo sect guards one of those channels. Each year, we have to invest a huge amount of manpower and resources. Of course, there are constantly experts that end up being sacrificed in the battles against the devil world. As for your trial, what you faced was nothing more than the most commonly seen, most inferior creatures invading from the devil world. The disciples were practically unable to believe their ears. Such terrifying creatures were nothing more than the weakest devil monsters? Then just how terrifying did the high-level devil monsters have to be? That's why you have to be full of reverence and gratitude to this world. Everything you have right now was not won by you, but by countless experts who sacrificed their lives. Each one of you has reached the sea expansion realm, and you've started to come into contact with some of this world's secrets. Just like how children who grow up into adults need to know their responsibilities and duties. As the inner sect disciples, you have a duty. Although the sect will go all out to raise you, there's no free lunch in this world. The resources you enjoy were only obtained through the countless lives of heroes. So at the same time as you enjoy the privilege of using those resources, you have a responsibility. When the Deo sect needs you, you need to stand up and face your fierce opponents. Long Chen now finally understood why the Eastern Wastelands branch sect didn't engage in any business and merely relied on the Central Plains head sect in the beginning. He hadn't understood why the sect would simply continuously take a loss by throwing resources at disciples for free. Even if the sect was built over a mountain of gold, it would eventually be used up like that. But now, Long Chen understood that it was an investment for now. If there are people who feel like the pressure is too great, or that it is too dangerous, you can give up your status as inner sect disciples and become outer sect disciples. The sect will definitely not mistreat you, and will still give you your due as outer sect disciples. If you choose to stay as inner sect disciples, then you have to understand your duty. You've all grown up now, and need to take up your responsibilities. So before the ceremony, make your decision. If anyone has any objections, you can raise them right now. After the ceremony, there won't be any time for objections, and violators will be harshly punished according to the sect's rules, said the Zuan Master. The disciples didn't know what to say. The Zuan Master's meaning was clear. Being an inner sect disciple had its own conditions. Once you entered, it was like signing a contract. 
You couldn't selfishly leave the Zhuangshan Dao sect, or you would be viewed as a traitor of the sect but now that everyone had just survived that deadly inner sect trial, they were unwilling to just give up the status they had won. Long Chen was indifferent, having eaten the food of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Did these people want to just pat their butts and leave without working for it? There was no such thing in this world. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's rules were very fair. Better treatment required greater danger, and greater danger naturally resulted in higher rewards. Furthermore, the Zuan master had stated it very clearly and openly. Oh, Long Chen suddenly saw a strange thing. The law enforcement hall master had cast a special look at a certain person. Just at this moment, Xinian took a step forward. Zuan master, disciple has one thing he doesn't understand. The inner sect trial is a survival of the fittest. A trial so that the Dao sect can choose the best people to spend its resources on. But there's someone who broke the rules and pulled a group of trash in as well. Having them associated with elites like us is an insult, and a blasphemy to the Dao sect. Xinian's words immediately caused the disciples behind the dragon blood legion to become furious. Calling them trash was the greatest insult. Correct. It really is going too far. It has affected the impartiality of the trial. Some people, in order to seem like a hero, ignored the Dao sect's rules and need to be punished. Unexpectedly, Hu Gishin also walked forward. They should be stripped of their right to be inner sect disciples, or it would be an insult to the other inner sect disciples. Fan Song also walked forward. Of the five great heavenly geniuses, other than Hua Shiyu and Wang Zhen, the others had all walked forward to criticize Long Chen. Correct. Long Chen intentionally disturbed the impartiality of the Dao sect and should be heavily punished. Such a person shouldn't even be an inner sect disciple and should be expelled from the Dao sect, cried Han Yunshan, Wei Changhe, and Yan Machen. Following them, the three factions experts all began to shout, demanding that Long Chen be punished. The millions of disciples looked oddly at these passionately shouting disciples, not knowing what was happening. The law enforcement hall master smiled faintly. He looked toward the elder hall master, but he was disappointed to see that his expression was still indifferent. As for the person with the highest authority in the Zhuangshan Dao sect, the Zuan master, he didn't say a word. He just watched with interest, a slight smile on his lips. It was like he was just a spectator watching a show. Zuan master, we are willing to give up our spots as inner sect disciples, but please don't make things hard on senior apprentice brother Long Chen shouted one of the disciples behind the Dragonblood Legion. Yes, I also don't want my inner sect disciple position. All I ask is that the sect does not punish senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Following one person's lead, the others also began to shout. Over 13,000 disciples chose to give up their inner sect disciple positions. This action caused all the elders to be moved. In order to not implicate Long Chen, these people had all take the initiative to give up their spots. Don't you dare. Raged Long Chen. Do you realize your current actions are a betrayal? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. They were startled. If you give up your spots, what about your efforts? What about those brothers who died in the battle in order to protect you? Your lives are no longer your own, and you have to accomplish the dreams they weren't able to accomplish. You are a continuation of their lives and wills. Is this kind of little setback enough for you to give up on everything? Do you think your brother's lives were sacrificed for this? Is this worthy of their sacrifice? But what is there to argue about? It's just a bunch of hopping clowns. If you can be unafraid of death, why be afraid of a few idiots? Don't make me look down on you, said Long Chen. All right, we'll do as you say. Even if you want us to fight to the death against them, we won't hesitate, shouted the disciples. Some of them were already holding their weapons. How brazen. Are you trying to rebel? Shouted the law enforcement hall master. Long Chen waved his hand and only then did they quiet down. As for the law enforcement hall master's shout, they had treated it like a fart, ignoring it completely. Long Chen looked from the cold and sanctimonious law enforcement hall master to the Zuan master who was watching with interest. He was unable to comprehend what this middle-aged man was doing. Was he really the leader of this sect? He had no arrogance or awe-inspiring aura to him. He didn't even seem to care the slightest about the law enforcement hall master shouting. Long Chen didn't understand what the Zuan master was thinking. He had no choice but to stand out, but he was comforted to see the elder hall master almost imperceptibly nod toward him. If Long Chen still didn't understand, then he wouldn't be Long Chen. The elder hall master's meaning was clear. Go against them as brazenly as you want. The elder hall will be your solid support. As the leader of the law enforcement hall, 
You label people criminals and rebels so easily? Is this the style of the law enforcement hall? Is everyone you talk to a criminal? Said Long Chen. All the elders' expressions became odd. That was because his words were entirely correct. When the law enforcement hall's elders spoke to others, they spoke as if they were interrogating them, irritating them. Long Chen, you're too brazen. You dare to contradict the master of the law enforcement hall? Now that you've offended your superior, you need a slap, shouted Xinian. Pow. Xinian had only just spoken when a large hand immediately helped him out and viciously struck his face. Chapter 1028 Weapons Raised Neither willing to back down translator, born to be a crisp slapping sound caused everyone to go deathly silent. The disciples were dumbfounded and the elders were shocked. They couldn't believe their eyes. No one had expected that Long Chen would attack someone in this kind of situation. The two of them hadn't been far, and as a result, Xinian was directly struck. Long Chen's divine face slapping art had yet to miss. As for Xinian, he had never imagined that Long Chen would dare to attack him in front of the Zuan master. With no defenses up, he almost fainted. This move's not bad. The Zuan master had been watching with slight interest this entire time, but he finally had a reaction upon seeing Long Chen's face slap. He was clearly impressed with the move. Long Chen, you dare to strike me. It took a full two breaths before Xinian recovered from his shock. No, you misunderstand. I wasn't striking anyone, but acting according to what you said. You said that when someone offends their superior, they should be slapped. Well, look, I'm standing closer to the front than you, which is the superior position. While you interrupting me is an offense, you're the one who brought up that you should be slapped. So I helped you out. What? Do you have an opinion about it? Asked Long Chen. You. Xinian's teeth creaked from being clenched so hard. His whole body was trembling in fury, but he didn't know how to retort. How brazen Long Chen. You dare to disturb the welcoming ceremony? The punishment is the thorned whip shouted the law enforcement hall master. Can you let it rest already? This place is not the law enforcement hall, and you are unable to hide the truth from the masses. You are unable to punish me. Someone called my brother's trash and I'm taking their place to speak. However, some people want to thwart me in a hundred ways, so why can't I slap those obstructions? Do you think your word is law, and that whatever you say must happen? If you say we're criminals, we're criminals? If you say we have to be killed, we'll be killed? Do you think you're a god? If you are, then please prove it to me. If you aren't, then what right do you have to prevent us from defending ourselves? Demanded Long Chen. It was all too clear to him that this law enforcement hall master was a prejudicial egomaniac who was tyrannical and obstinate. He was clearly using him to embarrass the elder hall in front of the Zuan master. Most likely, it was to win back the face lost by Lu Minghan previously. Long Chen had always thought that experts should have an expert's mannerisms, and an expert's self-restraint. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to reach that height. Now he realized he was wrong, and very wrong at that. Now that he had arrived in the Central Plains, he finally learned the truth. Idiots always exist regardless of location, and idiocy was not dependent on age. This law enforcement hall master was clearly an expert even above a king, but he was so lacking in restraint and kept on using such low-level methods. Although he had kept his actions well hidden, Long Chen had seen such tricks countless times. Just looking at him sticking out his butt, it was clear he was crapping. Clearly. Xinian. Fan Song and Hu Gishin all had some kind of relationship with the law enforcement hall. Otherwise, they wouldn't dare to directly target Long Chen in front of the Zuan master. This would definitely leave behind a bad impression on the Zuan master. So for them to still act like this, it was all too obvious. And it wasn't just Long Chen who found it obvious. There were plenty of sharp-eyed elders who seemed to have expected such a situation. The only thing they didn't understand was how the law enforcement hall had been so skillful as to draw in the new disciples. Quite a few people were waiting to see just how vicious the law enforcement hall slap would be in the elder hall's face. Because of Long Chen's matter, Li Changfeng had suppressed Lu Minghan, and that had caused quite a bit of trouble. The elder hall and law enforcement hall had to have the situation mediated by the higher-ups, or a huge fight might have erupted. But that was just a stopgap. The law enforcement hall was not about to just swallow their anger over the matter. Originally, the disciples should have been looked after by the elder hall. But the law enforcement hall also had the authority to recruit disciples into joining the law enforcement hall. If it was just ordinary inner disciples, it would have been one thing. But now, Xinian, Fan Song, and Hu Gishin were all core disciples with their own factions. 
If they joined the law enforcement hall, it would truly be a resounding slap in the Elder Hall's face. To put it frankly, they would be enjoying the resources provided by the Elder Hall so that they could work for the law enforcement hall. As for the Zuan Master, he seemed to be unconcerned. As long as they didn't violate the sect's rules, he would just watch. The harshest punishment he had let out so far was forcing the law enforcement hall master to go into seclusion for three days. Everyone had to feel reverence toward this Zuan master's cultivation base. But he also seemed lazy to the bone, giving them a headache. This was an excellent example. The Zuanchen Dao sect was famed even within the central plains, and even in ordinary sects. No one would dare to so openly provoke others in front of the sect leader. But the Zuan master was just watching as if this was an interesting show. Fine, then let's hear your quibbling, said the law enforcement hall master coldly. Long Chen looked at Xinian, Fan Song, and Hu Gishan. You said that the inner sect trial was a survival of the fittest. Then let me ask, who is the fittest? HMPH. Do you even need to ask something like that? Are you an idiot? Of course the fittest people are those with the greatest talent and comprehension, sneered Xinian. Long Chen smiled and said, then according to what you said, why is there a need for a trial? Why not just directly pass or fail disciples based on their data? Numbers are just a reference. Without experiencing the true battle, how are they supposed to see a person's true potential? Replied Xinian. Aren't you just slapping yourself in the face? You just said that the fittest people are those with talent and comprehension skills. But now you say that without undergoing true battle, it's impossible to see who is fitter. They received the protection of the Dragonblood Legion but the Dragonblood Warriors were only able to give them some small opportunity to adjust themselves. Toward the end, they still needed to rely on themselves to survive. Their talent might not be high, but their unswerving determination supported them. For them to survive that cruel battlefield, do you know what price they have paid? Their talent was inferior, their cultivation base was lower, and their combat power was weaker. They had to put in ten times the effort to win their current glory. Compared to you, they are the true warriors. But you call them trash? You're the biggest trash, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen's words caused countless people to look at those disciples behind the Dragonblood Legion. Even the strongest amongst them were only rank 3 Celestials, and there was even a small portion of rank 2 Celestials. For them to have survived such a cruel trial was truly worthy of praise. Thinking of how Xinian had repeatedly called them trash, quite a few people cast disdainful glances at him. Even some elders had to nod. Talent only gave people a better starting point for cultivation, but hard work was the most important factor. Xinian didn't know what to say. Looking at those distant disciples pointing at him and whispering, he had no way to retort. But no matter what, you've pulled in a group of unfit disciples into the inner sect, affecting the fairness of the trial, said the law enforcement hall master. Quite a few elders shook their heads inside. Had this hall master's head been jammed in a door when he was a child? How could he actually say such a thing? As expected, Long Chen said, Fair? Are you joking with me? Was there ever anything fair in this world? Furthermore, what do you mean unfit? Just because they're less talented than others, they're unfit? If talent meant everything, what would be the point of cultivating? What would be the point of comprehension? Do you think if your talent was good, you could just sleep all day and still become a god? Each disciple is a seed, and before the seed germinates, you won't be able to tell what breed they are. You see some disciples who have bloomed already, so you feel they are talented and will have greater accomplishments. But are the disciples who haven't bloomed yet unfit? What idiot logic. Just because you don't bloom or bear fruit, why can't you be a sapling that grows into a heaven-reaching tree? Get back to your job and do it properly. When it comes to teaching and raising people, the Elder Hall are the professionals. Don't embarrass yourself here. What nonsense. Do you think I'm blind? You think they can grow into heaven-reaching trees? For them to only be rank 3 celestials at the sea expansion realm, the foundation forging realm will be their limit. Not even 1 in 10,000 of them will condense a jade core. What sophistry to call such people heaven-reaching trees? Raged the law enforcement hall master. The jade core he mentioned was the actual realm of the king level. In the eastern wasteland, those who had reached the jade core realm were called kings. Because in desolate places like the four outer regions, those who could reach the Jade Core Realm were truly kings of the heavens. But in the Central Plains, it was just called the Jade Core Realm. Normally, only rank 4 Celestials could condense a Jade Core. For others, the chances of them condensing a Jade Core was extremely low. 
for the law enforcement hall master to say that not one in ten thousand of these rank three celestials would be able to break through to the Jade Core realm. He was merely stating a fact. You're the one spouting nonsense. Are your eyes blind? Or did water get in your head? Otherwise, I don't understand why you would spout such nonsense in front of the Zuan master. There are countless marvels and miracles in this world. How can you claim that none of them will grow to such heights? Are you a god? Can your will subvert the will of the heavens? How can you be absolutely sure? Sneered Long Chen. Then what kind of proof do you have that they won't be a waste of the sect's resources? Retorted the law enforcement hall master. I'm the best proof. Said Long Chen. You? What can you prove? Sneered the law enforcement hall master. When I was 15, I was just at the third heaven stage of key condensation. Is this proof enough? The only response to Long Chen's words was stunned silence. Chapter 1029 Zhuangshan Blessing Translator Born to be everyone was filled with disbelief. That made Long Chen realize something. The Elder Hall had definitely hidden everything about him. He had thought that some information about him would already be circulating amongst a portion of these people. But now it seemed the Elder Hall Master was also someone with profound scheming. He intentionally didn't release information about Long Chen to give him more opportunities to slap people's faces. Long Chen looked at him, and he saw the Elder Hall Master looking back at him, a slight smile on his face. As expected, he was an old fox. Perhaps all his reactions were within his expectations. Old Ginger truly was hotter than young Ginger. Compared to how crafty the Elder Hall Master was, the law enforcement Hall Master's little tricks should be nothing. According to reason, the Elder Hall should be toying with the law enforcement Hall. But how was it that the law enforcement Hall was still so overbearing? Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. He felt like he was still too inexperienced. The Elder Hall was already using him. Although he had known that beheading Lu Minghan would make him enemies with the law enforcement hall, he had never regretted it. Back then, Lu Minghan had gone too far. However, he didn't like this kind of obscure feeling of being used. He didn't mind being a weapon for the Elder Hall, but he hoped they would be tougher rather than being so veiled. This made him feel uncertain. Long Chen is telling the truth. The Elder Hall has investigated his past and we're sure that what he is saying is the truth. The Elder Hall Master seemed to see through Long Chen's thoughts and opened his mouth for the first time. Long Chen was a bit surprised, but he quickly realized that the Elder Hall Master was expressing his position for him so that he could be at ease. Originally, his greatest worry was that he would be tossed aside once he was finished being used. That would infuriate him. From the Phoenix Cry Empire, the 108th Monastery, the 36th Supermonastery, and then the Eastern Wastelands Branch Sect. He had already seen through these kinds of unspoken rules. He was aware that before he stabilized his own footing, the most important thing was to find a reliable backer. The Elder Hall was his best option now. He needed the Elder Hall, and the Elder Hall needed him. Working together would only bring benefits to both of them. The Law Enforcement Hall Master's expression became ugly once the Elder Hall Master spoke. He knew he had fallen for a trap. Just now. He had said that these rank 3 celestials wouldn't be able to reach the king realm in their lifetimes. But his words had been too overconfident. Long Chen had only been at key condensation when he was 15 years old. According to the theory he had just stated, such a person shouldn't even be called a cultivator. They were just a cripple. But now, Long Chen had reached the central plains and was contending against the heavenly geniuses. His words were now a slap in the face, and a very resounding one at that. There are always some people who run into a lucky chance. But can you say that every person will have your kind of luck as well? Retorted the law enforcement hall master. When we first followed boss, we weren't even celestials. Said Guo Ran. He is right. None of the Dragonblood Legion's people were innate celestials. We've investigated it. And we can confirm it. Said the elder hall master. Now the law enforcement hall master was even more infuriated. As he was slapped in the face once more. There was no way to retort and all his paths had been blocked by Long Chen. Long Chen was using himself to tell everyone that sometimes, hard work was even more important than talent. There were no absolutes in this world, and people shouldn't be looked down upon just because they were less talented. Luo Fan, do you have anything else to add? Finally, the Zuan Master opened his mouth. Reporting to Zuan Master, Disciple simply feels the Zuan Master waved his hand to cut him off. Don't answer beside the point. If you have nothing else to add, Begin the badge awarding ceremony. Yes, the law enforcement hall master had no choice but to helplessly retreat. The Zuan master's meaning was clear. He had no ground to stand on. 
So don't say any more. In other words, he had to accept that these people would be intersect disciples. Although he was unwilling, he was unable to find any reason to go against this. All disciples who passed the intersect trial, step forward. Take your intersect robes and badges. Starting today, you are the glorious intersect disciples. Li Changfen walked forward and announced. Cheering erupted, the loudest cheering coming from the people following Long Chen. They had succeeded. The Elder Hall's elders distributed the disciple robes as well as individual status badges. With these badges, they could withdraw a certain amount of resources each month and enter the cultivation grounds. Once everything was distributed, Li Changfen continued. Now we will distribute the core disciple badges. Xinian sneered while looking toward Long Chen. Only Hua Shiyu looked toward him with some sympathy. She felt some pity for him as he had the power to be a core disciple. The disciples behind Long Chen became dim. They were the ones who had held him back. Hua Shiyu, Hu Gishan, Fan Song, Wang Zhen, Xinian, and Long Chen. Come forth and receive your new robes and badges. Li Changfen paused for a moment before saying Long Chen's name. Long Chen couldn't believe his ears. What? Didn't he fail? Han Yanchen was the first to cry out. What's going on? He clearly failed. So why does he get a core disciple spot? Liu Kang, what do you think you're doing? Roared the law enforcement hall master. The Liu Kang he spoke of was the elder hall master. I'm not doing anything. Long Chen has met the criteria to be a core disciple, said Liu Kang lightly. The law enforcement hall master, Luo Fan, was infuriated. He bowed toward the Zuan master and said, Zuan master, Liu Kang's conduct is an abuse of his position. Liu Kang, give me your reason, said the Zuan master. Liu Kang also bowed and said, reporting to Zuan master, the trial is just a kind of formality. We can't lose a genius because we are stuck adhering to the convention. The main goal of the trial is not to test the core disciples' power or potential, but their leadership capabilities. The reason the Dao sect spends so much to raise its core disciples is because it wishes to raise a genius commander to lead the junior generation. Long Chen led the weakest faction with the lowest talent, but all the way to the end, his faction's mortality rate was the lowest. He has a sharp vision, powerful charisma, and great wisdom. Furthermore, even while he was in the core disciple trial, when his faction met with danger, he didn't hesitate to give up the enticement of a core disciple spot to help his faction. This all embodies the elements of a commander. What nonsense. Commanders should view accomplishing their missions as their goals. If they failed their mission because of soft-heartedness, what kind of commander would they be? That would just be a trash commander, sneered Luo Fan. Liu Kang looked at Luo Fan and shook his head. If you use any means necessary to accomplish the mission, then it can't count as success in the end. A commander who fails the mission because he protected his people is trash. But a commander who sacrifices his companions' lives to accomplish the mission is worse than trash. Long Chen hadn't expected that the refined and wily Elder Hall Master would be able to say such bold words. He couldn't help but feel some praise. His last words were said with emotion, or else there was no way it would strike people so deeply in the heart. He was definitely speaking his true feelings. You, you're just forcibly twisting logic, raged Luo Fan. Logic is constant and cannot be twisted. It is the right of the Elder Hall to award Long Chen with a core disciple spot. If the law enforcement hall is dissatisfied, you can file a complaint, but you have no right to interfere. Hall Master, you go beyond your authority. Liu Kang shook his head. His words didn't contain any anger, but they were so persuasive that it totally convinced people. One was refined and graceful, while the other was flustered. When placed side by side, the difference was stark. Long Chen shook his head. This law enforcement hall master was an idiot. Just how had he cultivated to reach his current level? Were the heavens that blind? If Long Chen were the Zuan master, he'd have long since slapped this idiot to death. He couldn't understand what this impenetrable Zuan master was thinking. Long Chen has met the requirements for a core disciple. There's no need to fight over this matter, said the Zuan master in a tone which said his words were final. The law enforcement hall master's expression immediately became exceedingly ugly but he didn't dare to say anything. He knew that while the Zuan master didn't normally interfere, no one could change the decisions he made. If he dared to retort, he would definitely have to endure his thunderous fury. Hu Shiyu, Hu Gishan, Fan Song, Wang Zhen, Xinian, and Long Chen walked up to the platform and received a beautiful case. Inside were their core disciple badges and robes. Long Chen, just wait. I won't let you off, whispered Xinian as he glanced sideways at Long Chen. 
Long Chen looked at him and coldly said, Idiot, did you think I would let you off? But the two of them were only able to exchange a few words before they had to return to their factions. The welcoming ceremony starts now. Activate the Zhuanchen blessing. The Zhuanchen tower suddenly lit up, countless runes revolving around it. Immortal spiritual key began to descend upon the disciples. Everyone immediately felt their bodies lighten and all their pores open, greedily absorbing that hallowed aura. My spirit root is upgrading, and my spirit blood is being purified. Heavens, what kind of energy is this? The disciples went wild with excitement. Baptized under that aura, they felt their bodies undergoing some kind of metamorphosis. The men grew more handsome, and the women grew even more beautiful. This is the blessing of the Zhuanchen Tower, and it will be extremely beneficial to your future cultivation. You'll understand in the future. That's all. The welcoming ceremony is over, announced Li Changfang. TSK. Suddenly, a blood red saber appeared and lightly cut across a hand. Fresh blood flowed onto a badge. Seeing Long Chen's actions, everyone's expressions changed. Chapter 1030 Using Blood to Ring the Bell Translator. Born to be the disciples had just begun to scatter when they saw Long Chen take out Blood Drinker and open a cut on his hand. His blood dripped onto his badge. The elders' expressions all changed. They immediately realized Long Chen was about to do something extremely crazy. Dong. The sound of a bell reverberated throughout the air, freezing all the exiting elders in their tracks. Only the Zuan master's figure was already gone, and nobody knew when he had left. Xinian. I, Long Chen, use my status as a core disciple to issue you a life and death battle. Using my blood to ring the bell, I ask everyone to bear witness. Long Chen's saber was propped on the ground his blood completely covering his badge. He had activated the battle pact mechanism inside the badge. Before the trial, the disciples had all been introduced to the Zhuanchen Dao sect's rules. Within those countless rules, there was one that said if disciples had irreconcilable enmities, they could initiate challenges to each other. However, there would be no suppressing of the weak. Challenges had to be between people on the same level. Intersect disciples could only challenge intersect disciples. They couldn't challenge outer sect disciples. The first thing Long Chen did after obtaining his core disciple badge was to issue a challenge. And it was no ordinary challenge. By using his blood to ring the bell, he had issued a life and death challenge. Only core disciples were qualified to issue life and death challenges. This kind of challenge represented that their enmity had reached the point of either you die or I die. Core disciples were all important pillars of the Zhuanchen Dao sect and so the bell had to be told for a life and death challenge between them. It signified that the entire sect's attention had to be focused at such a time. Long Chen, don't be foolish. Li Changfeng's expression changed. Ha 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 ha, good, you have gods. Long Chen, I accept. However, before Li Changfeng could finish speaking, Xinian had already bit his thumb and allowed his blood to drip onto his badge. Dong, the sound of a bell once more rang out, but this time... Two pillars of light descended from the sky, enveloping the two of them. In that instant, their bodies became illusory and isolated by the light pillars. This was all in accordance with the triggering of a life and death challenge. Once it was confirmed and approved, the two of them would be transported to the life and death stage. All the disciples present were stunned. This turn of events had happened too suddenly. Before they could understand what was happening, the two of them were enveloped by those light pillars. But the Dragonblood warriors understood Long Chen, and they knew he wasn't capable of accepting things as they were. He had to get revenge for those disciples. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, the other disciples who had followed him also understood, but they had never expected Long Chen to care so much. That matter was already over, and Long Chen had already done more than his share for them. Even if things were left like this, they would be eternally grateful to him. The matter was already over, and those people were already dead. But Long Chen was unable to put down the killing intent in his heart. He had to get revenge for those people, or he wouldn't be able to rest. Even Hua Xiaoyu, Wang Zhen, and the others were startled. Long Chen was definitely a madman. Madmen were too frightening. He refused to wait even a single night for revenge. Hu Gishan and Fan Song sneered. In their eyes, Long Chen was simply looking to be killed. He had no idea just how powerful they were. There was an uncrossable divide between them. Han Yunshan. Wei Changhe, and Yan Machen were all delighted as they had enmity with him. Han Yanchen had even been tormented by Long Chen and wished to cut him into a thousand pieces. Hall Master Liu Kang, two core disciples have initiated a life and death challenge. What are you still hesitating for? Sneered Luo Fan sinisterly. 
He hadn't expected there to be such a turnaround. This fortune had come too suddenly. With Long Chen taking the initiative to kill himself, he was already impatient. The two of them had already finished the formalities. All they needed was Liu Kang's approval and the life and death martial stage would be opened. Now seeing Liu Kang standing there silently, Luo Fan couldn't help but urge him. He longed to see the sight of Long Chen being killed. Liu Kang suddenly smiled. In the beginning, he had also been shocked by Long Chen's actions. He wasn't able to understand what Long Chen was thinking. And just as he had been wondering if he should permit them to fight or not, a voice rang out in his head, allowing him to relax. He took out a foot-long chessboard. Thousands of runes were revolving over that chessboard, making it a dazzling sight. This was a tool to control the Zhuanshan Dao sect's thousands of trial and cultivation regions. Seeing that, a trace of envy appeared in Luo Fan's eyes. The reason the Elder Hall possessed so much authority was because they controlled so many resources. As for the Law Enforcement Hall, they only had the authority to enforce the laws of the sect although they were an important department. Their prestige was not as high as the Elder Hall's. It is not permitted to initiate life and death challenges for the first three months after joining the sect but since you have so much anger, I will permit you to fight. However, you may not kill your opponent. If you agree, the battle can advance. If you don't, then the challenge will be revoked. If you still fight in private, you will receive a heavy punishment, declared Liu Kang. In reality, these were not Liu Kang's words, but the words of someone above him. He was just following their instructions. Disciple accepts shouted Xinian. Disciple also accepts, said Long Chen. The two of you better take note. Don't try to harbor any evil thoughts and accidentally kill your opponent. If you do, you will be expelled from the Zhuanshan Dao sect, warned Liu Kang. Don't worry, I won't kill him. Killing him would be letting him off too easily, said Xinian, a sinister expression on his face. Long Chen didn't say anything. Wasn't it just being expelled? Then it was fine. Seeing that two of them had no objections, Liu Kang activated the chessboard. The scene before everyone changed as they appeared in front of a huge martial stage, with Long Chen and Xin Ian standing in the middle of it. Within an underground palace at the core of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the Zuan master was sitting on a prayer mat, an ancient chessboard in front of him. The chessboard was covered in pieces, and the white and black pieces were in a deadlock. The Zuan master looked at the chessboard, a white piece in his hand, even after a long time. He was unable to place it. In the end, he placed the piece in his hand in an unremarkable corner. An aged voice rang out. A meaningless move. The voice had come from in front of the Zuan master. It was like someone was sitting in front of him on the other side of the chessboard. But it was impossible to see anyone. I don't believe so. Whether it has meaning or not, what should be done should be done. Without taking a few steps, how will I clearly see the whole situation? Said the Zuan master lazily. Are you saying you don't believe me? Said that ancient voice, a bit of dissatisfaction in its voice. This little one doesn't dare. For that little fellow, you pulled me out of seclusion. You know, I had just begun to grasp a bit. Said the Zuan master helplessly. If it wasn't something so important, why would I pull you out? The reincarnation mirror has already issued a warning that the person who caused it to crack back then has arrived. I already warned Liu Kang and them not to make things easy or hard for Long Chen. But that little fellow has a terrifying origin. The reincarnation mirror only saw the tip of the iceberg before it also broke apart. He's most likely a divergent. Now that he has come to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, it could be an immensely good thing, or it could cause the entire sect to be destroyed. So I need you to be serious, warned that ancient voice. If you're going to watch me so closely, why not just do it yourself? The Zuan master bitterly smiled. What nonsense. I'm also at a critical juncture and need to go into seclusion. How do I have time to watch over him? Snorted the voice. Then since you've left this matter to me, just let me handle it. Don't stare at me like a hawk. I have my own style of handling things, and there's no need for you to worry, said the Zuan master. Fine, I'll leave it to you. That ancient voice stopped speaking, leaving behind only the Zuan master staring at the chessboard. It was unknown how many years this game had been going on. Things were in a complete deadlock, and no matter what move he made, it wouldn't change things. Once a deadlock is broken, I'll have to spend some time thinking of the next arrangement. Victory or defeat Chiringus unpredictable, sighed the Zuan master after a long time. Adopt the martial stage. Long Chen and Xinian glared at each other, their killing intent for the other not at all concealed. The air was taut. Can senior apprentice brother Long Chen win? Asked one disciple worriedly. 
Starting today, you'll have to remember not to call him senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Call him boss, because boss already treats you as brothers. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen doesn't sound mighty or domineering enough. Secondly, you'll have to remember that boss is an undefeatable battle god. At the very least, in the same realm, he won't lose to anyone, said Guo Ran. Guo Ran understood Long Chen the best. He knew that at the beginning, Long Chen had merely felt some pity for these disciples. He hadn't been thinking too much about it, and he had just been planning on helping them out a bit. But as they cooperated and formed bonds of trust, choosing to give their lives to their companions during the crisis, his feelings had changed. He had thought of the beginning of the Dragon Blood Legion. People's emotions were strange things. It was unknown when his feelings had changed exactly. But Guo Ran knew that Long Chen was already planning on leading these hot blooded men. Many thanks, Boss Guo Ran. I understand, said the disciple gratefully. What the fuck? There's only one boss. You can't call me that, or I'll be beaten. If you want to praise me, you can call me handsome god, said Guo Ran. Kama stop talking. Boss is about to attack. Gu Yang cut the two of them off. They hastily looked toward the martial stage. Chapter 1031 Calamities Provoked by a Slotty Mouth Translator Born to be the 30-mile martial stage was formed of cyan bricks, looking like one solid body. Four pillars soared into the heavens from the four corners of the stage, and a bright light enveloped the martial stage, keeping everyone else outside. At the center, Long Chen and Xinian glared at each other. Xinian had launched a sneak attack against Long Chen's flame dragon so that he could devour it with his earth flame but he had met with cataclysmic failure, his own flame beast being taken away from him. Now, seeing the culprit standing before him, he was full of hatred. Long Chen, rejoice that this place is the Zhuanshan Dao sect otherwise, I'd cut you into a thousand pieces. However, just because I can't kill you doesn't mean I can't cripple you and make you pay the price. Long Chen looked back at Xinian and shook his head. You're just an idiot. Did you really think that this matter is so simple? You think the enmity between us is limited to an earth flame beast? You're wrong. Very wrong. To stop me from getting a core disciple spot, you sneak attacked my flame dragon. Originally, that should have just been a private enmity between us. For those who walk on the path of cultivation, fierce competition and fighting is only natural. That's not wrong. But idiot, you should look at the situation. In that kind of critical moment, your actions caused the deaths of over 10,000 innocent disciples. Did you think this matter would end just like that? In this world, there's no one that can forever look down on others. Perhaps in your eyes, or perhaps in the eyes of the sect's rules, your actions weren't a mistake. You also have an excuse to avoid punishment, but there are always people that don't tread the usual paths. For example, me. I don't need to use the rules to punish you, nor do I need to gather something as senseless as proof. I prefer being straightforward and direct. To me, rules are all nonsense. Now that you've come onto the martial stage, of the two of us, only one can leave alive. Long Chen's voice was ice cold and full of unquestionable resolve. He had decided, no matter what the price was, he had to kill this idiot. Even if he had to be expelled from the Zhuanshan Dao sect other than the Dragonblood warriors, everyone else was startled. So Long Chen's previous agreement had been nothing more than a formality. His goal to kill Xinian hadn't changed. Ha 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 ha. You want to kill me? Good. What a grand desire, but Trash who isn't even a celestial wouldn't be able to achieve such a dream in their lifetime, laughed Xinian. As a peak heavenly genius, he had never encountered someone arrogant enough to say they would kill him. Hu Gishan, Wang Zhen, and Fan Song sneered disdainfully. Even Hua Xiaoyu shook her head. Big sister Xiaoyu, can Long Chen win? Asked Xiao Zian worriedly. Although Long Chen's refusal to allow her to join the Dragonblood Legion twice made her feel bad. It didn't affect the image of Long Chen in her heart. In her eyes, Long Chen was an energetic and positive figure whose humorous way of speaking had warmed her heart. Now seeing Hu Gishan and the other's expressions, her heart sank. His chances are very low. Well, to put it more bluntly, he has no chance at all, said Hua Xiaoyu. Are you sure? Long Chen is extremely powerful, said Xiao Ziyan. Foolish girl, although you're also a rank 5 celestial, you haven't gone through the baptism of a spirit pool. Without reaching the point of merging with heaven and earth, there are many things you don't understand. Although Long Chen is one of those stinky men, at least he's a real man, unlike those arrogant and presumptuous men who think all the world's women should be theirs. However, he isn't a celestial, and even if he encountered some kind of miracle, the difference is clear. 
He cannot make up for it, said Hua Xiaoyu, despite not having a favorable opinion of his odds. For someone who disliked men so much like Hua Xiaoyu to say such words clearly showed that Long Chen's display after their initial conflict had won him some admiration from her. However, admiration was just admiration. She didn't think highly of his hot-headedness or his lack of intelligence. Today, even if he doesn't die, he'll at least be crippled. That's the consequences of being such a slut, sneered Wei Chang-hei suddenly. He had always been bitterly pursuing Xiao Ziyan, while Xiao Ziyan always hid from him, refusing to face him. Although he never encountered success, Wei Chang-hei didn't give up. But ever since that day when he had seen Xiao Ziyan speaking with Long Chen, things had changed. She had never spoken to him like that, nor had she ever smiled like that around him. In his fury, he had attacked Long Chen only to get repeatedly slapped in return. His hatred for Long Chen had reached an extreme level, which was why he was delighted that Long Chen would send himself to his death by challenging Xinian. Hearing Xiao Ziyan voice her worry for Long Chen, his fury ignited again. He had lost a great deal of face because of Long Chen, and even his urge to pursue Xiao Ziyan had weakened because of him. Furthermore, Xiao Ziyan now seemed to hate him as well. As for calling him a slut, it was a play on words. He was cursing Long Chen, but he was also cursing Xiao Ziyan with the word slut was usually used to curse women. But Wei Chang-hei didn't expect that this one word would bring a calamity onto him. He had forgotten that Hua Xiaoyu was standing right there. Countless flower petals suddenly condensed into a spear and stabbed through Wei Chang-hei's heart, leaving a large hole in his chest. Clean your filthy mouth. Next time you say something like that, I'll slaughter you, said Hua Xiaoyu coldly. No one had expected Hua Xiaoyu to attack suddenly. Furthermore, her attack was so vicious and had come with no warning at all. She didn't give Wei Chang-hei any chance to dodge. That shocked everyone. Was the difference between rank 5 celestials truly so great? If Hua Xiaoyu had wanted to kill Wei Chang-hei, he would already be dead. You, Wei Chang-hei was startled and infuriated but he had only just opened his mouth when he coughed up blood. He was horrified to find that he was unable to heal his injury. With his heart destroyed and his blood pouring out, he was rapidly weakening. Hua Xiaoyu's attack had contained a strange energy that rendered his heavenly Dao energy ineffective. If this continued, he really would run out of blood and die. Suddenly, a large hand patted Wei Chang-hei's body, spreading a strange fluctuation that eliminated Hua Xiaoyu's energy. Only then was Wei Chang-hei able to use his heavenly Dao energy to heal. But even after healing the injury, he had lost a huge amount of blood and his face was as pale as paper. He stared at Hua Xiaoyu in terror, finally realizing how terrifying this woman was. Hua Xiaoyu, you went too far. Hu Gishan frowned, pulling back his hand. If it hadn't been for him, Wei Chang-hei would have been in trouble. As soon as Wei Chang-hei had said the word slot, Hu Gishan had had a bad feeling. He had been about to chide him but it had been too late. Wei Chang-hei's words might have been offensive, but no matter what, he was Hu Gishan's subordinate. Even if you wanted to beat a dog, you had to see who the owner was first. Hua Xiaoyu's attack was also a slap to Hu Gishan's face. Do you see? This is the difference. Long Chen has no chance of victory, said Hua Xiaoyu to Xiao Ziyan as if she hadn't heard Hu Gishan. You, Hu Gishan's expression sank. What? Do you want to challenge me? I, Hua Xiaoyu. Never fear any stinky man. If you want to fight, let's fight. Hua Xiaoyu's eyes turned cold. Hua Xiaoyu had always appeared like an arrogant fairy, but she had the right to be full of herself. Not only was she as beautiful as a heavenly fairy, but she also had such terrifying combat strength. Amongst the core disciples, she had defeated her silver lizard the fastest. Although the others had been holding back, Hua Xiaoyu had also yet to reveal her true power, at least on the surface. It seemed like she was the strongest since she had obtained her core disciple spot first. HMPH, we'll have an opportunity for that later, snorted Hu Gishan before turning silent. He was extremely apprehensive of Hua Xiaoyu, but he wasn't afraid. It was just that now wasn't the time to make enemies. The elders frowned. How was it that the youngsters these days didn't have the slightest bit of respect anymore? Did they not see that they were right there? This scuffle drew quite a bit of attention but their conflict didn't grow any further, so everyone's attention once more focused on the two people on the martial stage. Neither Long Chen nor Xinian had seen what was happening outside. The martial stage was special, and every one of their actions was projected so that the people outside could see it clearly. However, the ones inside were isolated from the outside world so that they could fight without any distractions. 
The two of them didn't know that before they started fighting, a rank 5 celestial had almost caused his own death because of one word. Long Chen, trying to anger me is useless. I'm not stupid enough to kill you, and I won't give up my future prospects because of trash like you. However, I'll crush you like the dog you are on this martial stage. Xinian suddenly clapped his hands together. Roaring rang out as a huge flame leopard appeared on the martial stage. Chapter 1032 Heavenly Net Earth Core Blaze Translator Born to be as soon as that flame leopard appeared, it let out a heaven-shaking roar. It was now no longer five miles long, but eight. The other thing different from before was the light circulating inside and outside the leopard's body. Powerful pressure caused the space around it to twist. He actually hit his flame beast's power. The dragon blood warriors were startled. During the intersect trial, the flame beast Xinion had summoned hadn't possessed this power. It wasn't just them. All the disciples who had participated in that trial were shocked. Originally, they had thought that the core disciples had been forced to use their full power in the core disciple trial. They hadn't thought that they had been holding back. It was clear that Xinion hadn't used his full power, or if he had shown this power back then, he probably would have been the one to obtain the first core disciple spot. Long Chen, it's too late to beg for mercy now. Today, I'll make you live a life worse than death. The flame leopard was glaring at Long Chen, and it was already beginning to store up energy. As long as Xinion gave the order, it would immediately launch an attack. Only once you were standing in front of such an enormous flame beast would you know how terrifying it was. Just its aura would make others unable to breathe. The martial stage's barrier prevented the outside world's auras from entering, but the auras inside could come out. However, due to the barrier, it didn't have any threat to the people outside. But even then, the level of its aura still made these disciples feel like there was a stone crushing their hearts. It made their hair stand on end. Do you think I'm as stupid as you? You think a single earth flame beast can make me kneel and beg? Are you sure you have a brain? Sneered Long Chen. You still can't see the reality now? This earth flame beast is my true trump card. The heart-rending salamander flame you devoured is only ranked 93 on the earth flame rankings. But my heavenly net earth core blaze is ranked 85. Its power is several times that of the heart-rending salamander flame. And if I wasn't unwilling, I'd have long since let it devour my other earth flame. You really overrate yourself. Do you know how laughable you are? My things aren't so easy to devour. I will take back ten times what you took from me. The flame leopard behind Xinion roared and suddenly launched a claw at Long Chen. That claw was like a small mountain. But what shocked everyone was that Long Chen didn't dodge. Instead, he sent out a punch. Boom. The entire martial stage shook. The flame leopard was forced back by Long Chen's punch. As for Long Chen, he was also knocked back a few hundred meters. Fool, do you think refusing to release your earth flame will save it from being devoured? Don't worry, as long as I defeat Chiringayao, extracting your earth flame will be of no effort at all for me. Xinian stood with his hands clasped behind him. He had no intention of directly attacking, implying that just his flame leopard was enough to handle Long Chen. Long Chen didn't reply. He continued to fight with his fists against the flame leopard, but he was forced to repeatedly fall back. Will Senior, will boss be alright? Asked a disciple beside Guo Ran. Are you joking? They're still just in the process of probing each other. Furthermore, boss's power surpasses your imagination. Just watch. Replied Guo Ran. That flame leopard's power was absolutely shocking. Each one of its blows could shatter mountains. Watching this, the disciples all had to admire the power of a core disciple. Any of these attacks could easily kill them. But despite what Guo Ran said, they were worried to see Long Chen repeatedly being forced back. People all had sympathy for the weak, and in their eyes, they had long since labeled Long Chen the weak one. The women were especially sympathetic. Although Long Chen wasn't especially handsome, red flowers always needed green leaves to set themselves off. Compared to Xinian who arrogantly looked down upon everyone else, Long Chen appeared exceptionally handsome and moving. The majority of the disciples here hadn't participated in the intersect trial and didn't know what had happened. But just from the words between the two of them, they knew Long Chen was getting revenge for people who had died because of Xinian. That made them feel even more sympathetic. You can do it, Long Chen, cried a woman in the crowd suddenly. What the fuck? How am I supposed to live like this? Guo Ran was dumbfounded. When did his boss's charisma grow to this level? When he was a poser, he had people worship him. And when he wasn't a poser, people sympathized with him. Why was it that he didn't have the same luck? With one person taking the lead. Quite a few people began to cheer for Long Chen. 
with the majority of them being women. Tang Wan'er couldn't help but laugh. Did that scoundrel really possess this much charisma? Why was it that she had never managed to see such a thing? Stop shouting. You're annoying. The ones inside can't hear the sounds from outside, roared Han Yunshin. Seeing so many people sympathizing with Long Chen, he was infuriated. Han Yunshin truly did lack brains. He didn't even understand the simple rule that he shouldn't roar at women, especially not a group of women. How could you be so coarse? If we want to cheer, we'll cheer. What does it have to do with you? Exactly. If you don't want to listen, then don't listen. By shouting even louder, aren't you just being more annoying? HMPH. I can tell you're a bad person with just a look. You're definitely jealous of him. Quite a few people hadn't even been cheering at first, but because of Han Yunchen's roar, they joined in just to irritate him. You damn slew Han Yunchen suddenly felt an icy killing intent lock onto him, and all his hair stood on end. Everyone looked at him oddly. Continue. Hua Shiyu looked indifferently at Han Yunchen. A drop of sweat dripped off Han Yunchen's forehead and onto the ground. He felt like his back had been drenched in sweat in an instant. He had almost forgotten there was a terrifying fiend near him. Wei Chang He had almost lost his life because of his mouth. If he committed a second violation, he didn't know if there would even be a Han Yunchen in this world any longer. Han Yunchen shut his mouth, refusing to say a word. Even his lower mouth was clenched tight, as he was afraid the slightest fart might end his life. Seeing this, the flower petals around Hua Shiyu slowly faded and she continued looking at the martial stage. At this time, Long Chen had been forced into a corner by the flame leopard. It roared and launched a claw at him. This time, there was nowhere to dodge. Boom. The huge claw landed on the martial stage. Quite a few people jumped, thinking Long Chen had been crushed. What speed? Cried someone suddenly. At some unknown point, Long Chen had appeared in the air and launched a vicious kick at the flame leopard's head. The flame leopard smashed into the barrier and then rebounded back. It let out a furious roar and released a flame sphere that shot toward Long Chen. It was huge, and Long Chen didn't even have a chance to dodge before he was struck. Startled cries rang out from the disciples. This had happened too suddenly. Had Long Chen only just launched a counterattack before being killed? A dragon's cry rang out. A ten-mile flame dragon appeared and smashed apart the flame sphere with its tail. Long Chen was surrounded by flickering lightning as he floated in the air. The huge flame dragon circled around him, and a powerful aura began to rise. That was a kind of formless energy that caused the dragon blood warriors to burst into cheers. Boss is finally getting serious. This aura was something the dragon blood warriors were familiar with. It meant that Long Chen's warm-up was finished and the true battle was about to start. When this aura permeated through the barrier, the hall master's expressions changed. This will. He walks the undefeatable Dao. This aura was too clear for them. It was incomparably arrogant and domineering. Only an expert who had never once tasted defaturing cold possessed such a thing. The disciples didn't understand what this aura signified, but it made them tremble. You're finally willing to bring out your rations to feed my earth flame beast, sneered Xinian. Yes, but I'm worried your earth flame beast doesn't have the stomach for it. Long Chen extended another hand. His arm shook and another dragon cry rang out. Another 10-mile dragon appeared. This one formed of lightning. Chapter 1033 The True Power of Being Merged with Heaven and Earth Translator Born to be the two dragons coiled around each other, their dragon cry shaking the sky. Blazing light came from them that dazzled the people outside. How domineering. Long Chen was like a god as he stood in the midst of those two dragons. The disciples outside had seen countless experts but they had never seen someone who appeared so domineering. Long Chen's domineeringness was not an external appearance, but something that came from his bones. It usually didn't reveal itself, but when he began to fight for real, it would unconsciously awaken. It wasn't even something that Long Chen did on purpose. It was a sign of the nine-star hegemon body art and impossible to hide. When Long Chen circulated the nine-star hegemon body art, that wild, domineering aura would spread. That was an aura that refused to be one with heaven and earth. The Central Plains disciples had never seen such a thing, but the dragon blood warriors were familiar with the sight, and their blood began to boil. The sight of Long Chen standing in the air with the two brilliant dragons around him also possessed a special effect on the women who were still in the springtime of their youth. How handsome! One of the Heaven Female Alliance's maidens involuntarily clenched her hands in front of her, looking worshipfully at that figure on the martial stage. What's so handsome about a stinky man? You're not allowed to worship him, ordered Hua Shiyu coldly. But even as she said this, 
she had to admit that Long Chen's current appearance was worth a second look. You think that summoning two little pieces of crap will allow you to fight against me? Your flame dragon will be my beast's food. Xinian had absolute confidence in his earth flame beast. Show him just who is the food, ordered Long Chen. Huo Long and Lai Long both roared and charged at Xinian's flame beast. Devour them. Xinian also gave his flame beast an order. The flame leopard roared and pounced. Originally, the flame and lightning dragons had been flying separately. But on the way, they suddenly coiled around each other, forming a flame and lightning twister. Boom. Flames and lightning erupted, instantly filling the entire barrier. The disciples outside were unable to see the situation inside any longer as all they saw was chaos. But even standing outside, they could feel the ground constantly shaking. What's going on inside? cried some of the disciples. The elder hall master muttered to himself and slowly extended his hands, forming three hand seals. The martial stage and the barrier began to rapidly expand. The disciples cried out in shock and hastily fell back. In just a few breaths, the martial stage had grown by ten times. As it expanded, the scene inside grew clearer. They saw a lightning and flame dragon fighting intensely against a flame leopard. Each time their huge bodies collided, it would cause the ground to shake. It was an incredibly crazy and fierce fight that shocked all of them. Xinian hadn't expected that Long Chen's flame and lightning dragons would be able to contend evenly with his earth flame beast. For the moment, there was no way to determine victory or death a Turing that was completely different from the result he had imagined. He thought that Long Chen's flame dragon wouldn't have had time to completely refine his first earth flame yet. And even if it had, its power would only barely be able to match the heart-rending salamander flame. It definitely would not surpass it. That was because Long Chen's flame dragon's power had been weaker. Even after devouring it, its power would not surpass the heart-rending salamander flame. As for the current earth flame beast, it was ranked 85th. And it was much, much stronger than the heart-rending salamander flame. It would be able to easily devour it. He had always been hesitating about whether or not he should allow his heavenly net earth core blaze to devour his heart-rending salamander flame. That would strengthen the heavenly net earth core blaze. But he had never been willing to do so as both these earth flames had cost him endless sweat and blood to raise. Of course, he had never imagined that one would be devoured by Long Chen. So now, Xinian wanted the heavenly net earth core blaze to devour Long Chen's flame dragon. That would be like devouring two earth flames for the price of one. But then he was startled to find that the flame dragon was stronger than he had imagined. Although its actual power was at most a match for the heart-rending salamander flame, it actually possessed battle tactics and knew how to cooperate with the lightning dragon to attack. That was the thing that Xinian found most unbelievable. Although earth flames had spirits, their intelligence was extremely limited. Everything they did occurred instinctively, and being able to listen to a few simple orders was the limit. But Long Chen's lightning and flame dragons were extremely smart and knew how to cooperate. It was only through this cooperation that they managed to fight evenly against his flame leopard whose power far surpassed theirs. What Xinian didn't know was that Long Chen's earth flame had been harvested while it had been extremely young and immature. There had been great room for growth and molding, and as a result of Long Chen's attention and care, it was extremely devoted to him. But Xinian's earth flames were different. They had been forcibly subdued with secret arts when they had already been fully mature. They didn't dare to refuse his orders, and as a result, there were many things that couldn't be communicated. Earth flames would normally slowly mature in well-hidden regions during their youth. They wouldn't be easily noticed, and when they dared to go out, they were mostly fully matured. So it was very difficult to find immature earth flames. Furthermore, Xinian was startled by the lightning dragon. Since it was formed of lightning, it wasn't afraid of the flame leopard tearing at it. Even if it bit off a piece of its body, all it got were some lightning runes. The flame leopard was unable to devour lightning runes, and those runes would return to the lightning dragon's body eventually. While the lightning dragon was the main fighter, the flame dragon would constantly nip and bite at the flame leopard, occasionally managing to get a bite. Although there was no way for it to immediately digest that energy and strengthen itself, a flame beast that lost its core runes would gradually weaken. One or two bites wasn't a big problem, but if it continued, his flame leopard would only grow weaker and sooner or later, it would be completely devoured. So the reason you allowed yourself to be entangled with my earth flame beast was to figure out its attack patterns and weaknesses. Xinian clenched his teeth. He knew he had been schemed against. Seeing this situation, it was all too clear. The two dragons were cooperating perfectly, 
while his flame leopard was unable to strike them. Instead, it was constantly being bitten by the flame dragon, and when it went to attack the flame dragon, the lightning dragon would stop it. When the people outside heard this, they finally understood why Long Chen had been forced back repeatedly by the flame leopard. As for when he had kicked away the flame leopard, he must have already figured out all there was to figure out about the flame leopard and hadn't wanted to waste any more time. Don't you think saying that now is a bit meaningless? Bring out your full power. This isn't a game, nor is it the time to be a poser. This is revenge, said Long Chen. Ha 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 ha. Xinian raised his head and laughed. He was completely infuriated now. Long Chen kept saying he would get revenge on him, and now he was tired of hearing it. Just as he was about to speak, pow, a large hand came from a strange angle and struck Xinian while he wasn't expecting it at all. The huge power behind it sent him flying. This face slapping art is probably unrevealed beneath the heavens, sighed the elder hall master. All the hall masters, other than the law enforcement hall master, nodded inside. This move of Long Chen's had already touched upon the realm of a natural Dao. From the moment he launched it to the point it struck, it was flawless as if it had been created by the heavens. Even for them, this was the first time seeing such a face slapping art. The disciples that were just watching for fun were startled, but they mostly found it comedic. A grand rank 5 celestial was actually slapped in the face. Bastard, I'll kill you, roared Xinian. Probably, anyone on his level would be unable to bear being slapped in the face like this. This was the only time he had ever been slapped in the face. Five colored runes erupted, forming chains in the air. The chains were constantly moving like thousands of tentacles. It looked like there was a huge, five colored spider web behind Xinian. But as soon as it appeared, all the disciples' expressions changed. How is this possible? They were horrified to find that in that instant, they were unable to sense any heavenly Deo energy. It was like the world's heavenly Deo energy had all been sucked away by Q Xinian. As for Xinian, it was practically possible to see heavenly Deo energy pour toward him like hundreds of streams. His aura was crazily climbing. Do you see it? This is the difference. That's why I said Long Chen has no chance. A celestial who has reached the realm of merging with heaven and earth can instantly absorb all the heavenly Deo energy around them for their own use. Unless others have also reached the realm of merging with heaven and earth, they'll find themselves without any energy. Just how are they supposed to fight? Sighed Hua Shiyu. It wasn't just Xiao Ziyan she was talking to. All the disciples heard it. Over 99% of them hadn't known about this, as they didn't have the qualifications to know about such a thing. Seeing Xinian's aura rapidly climbing, they felt a profound sense of helplessness. Although they were also celestials, they were completely suppressed. As for Han Yanshan, Wei Changhe, and Yan Machen, they finally understood just how great the difference was between them and these monsters. Long Chen, now do you understand the difference between us? A piece of trash like you isn't even fit to carry my shoes. Hurry up and die. Once Xinian's aura reached an unprecedented level. Raging key waves continuously poured out of him. All I know is that the difference between us is that one is a person, and the other is an idiot. Today, I'll let you see just how great the difference between a person and an idiot is. Divine Ring. Chapter 1034 Activating His Spirit Blood Translator. Born to be Divine Ring. That cry was like the cry of a god. Shaking the world and penetrating people to their cores. The four key seas below the Feng Fu Star. Aliaf Star. Life Fate Star and Enlightenment Palace star fully activated, and boundless energy surged within him. A red, orange, yellow, and green ring appeared behind him. It caused the void to rumble, and even the barrier of the martial stage began to shake. The four-colored, 3,000-meter divine ring revolved. It seemed to contain the greatest principles of heaven and earth within it, as if it possessed the entire world's laws. It was sacred and divine. This was Long Chen's first time fully activating the divine ring since arriving in the central plains. What kind of technique is this? Even the barrier is being affected. The elder hall master was shocked. Long Chen's divine ring was loosening the barrier. This barrier was not an ordinary one. Even foundation forging experts wouldn't necessarily be able to shake it, as it was extremely tough. Those below the Jade Core realm were normally unable to damage it. But Long Chen's divine ring seemed to possess some strange energy that was disturbing the barrier. The elder hall master sank into thought for a moment and then decided to secretly increase the power of the barrier to make sure it was secure. The divine ring was absolutely shocking and drew everyone's attention, but no one noticed a man standing in the air, calmly looking at the divine ring behind Long Chen. That person was the Zuan master, 
Even as he stood there, no one was capable of noticing him, not even the hall masters. Seeing this divine ring, the Zuan master's expression finally turned a bit grave, and he was lost in thought. The divine ring's manifestation had completely suppressed the manifestation of Xinian's cry of the heavenly deos and his merging with heaven and earth. That shocked Xinian. Having activated the manifestation of merging with heaven and earth, he had sucked all the heavenly deo energy dry. Theoretically, he could suppress any celestial in this space. However, he was unable to sense Long Chen's existence and use his heavenly deo energy to lock onto him. It was like Long Chen was a fish, and Xinian's heavenly deo energy was water. No matter how much water he used, he wouldn't be able to drown Long Chen. Xinian didn't realize that Long Chen's divine ring didn't draw heavenly deo energy. As a result, his heavenly deo manifestation had no effect on Long Chen. As for Long Chen himself, he had no dependence on heavenly deo energy, and so Xinian's powerful cry of the heavenly deos, which was fatal against other celestial, was useless against him. So what if you have a trump card? In front of absolute power, you're still just garbage, shouted Xinian. The spitterweb like heavenly deo rune suddenly shot toward Long Chen, and Xinian also slashed his flame blade at Long Chen's head. Boom. Long Chen slashed Blood Drinker out, clashing with Xinian's flame blade. A powerful explosion rocked the heavens. Long Chen was surprised. Even with his divine ring, he was unable to shatter Xinian's flame blade. Fool. Do you think I condensed my flame blade with some ordinary magical art? This is a flame cultivator's core flame, the wellspring of my power. You thought you'd break it with one blow? Laughable. Xinian sneered. His flame blade suddenly transformed into a spear and stabbed toward Long Chen. This sudden change came without any warning. Long Chen hastily tilted Blood Drinker to block the flame spear. But just at this moment, a crafty light appeared in Xinian's eyes. A flame sword appeared in Xinian's other hand. He stabbed it at Long Chen's ribcage. This flame sword was extremely strange. It was not formed of flame runes and was just like a normal weapon that was incomparably sharp. Even before it arrived, Long Chen felt goosebumps. If he was struck, his body would be instantly pierced. Blood Drinker suddenly released a suction force that drew in Xinian's spear. Long Chen borrowed that power to dodge his sword. Did you think that would work? Xinian's spear vanished and now Long Chen had no way to borrow his power to dodge. The flame sword in Xinian's other hand suddenly explosively grew and stabbed toward Long Chen. Despite Long Chen doing his best to dodge, the flame sword still slashed across his waist. It left behind a long cut and Long Chen's blood poured out. What startled people was that despite that flame sword looking like it was formed of condensed flames, there was no heat. It didn't cauterize his wound. What is going on? Asked Xiao Ziyan Noveloon.com when heat is compressed through special magical arts. It transforms into sharpness, and one's core energy can transform freely as they please, said Hua Xiaoyu. Quite a few people jumped upon seeing Long Chen injured. The women supporting Long Chen all turned ashen that had been too close, and he had almost been pierced through the heart. But as soon as Long Chen was injured and began bleeding, his body curved and he sent a kick straight at Xinian's nose. Crack. Xinian let out a pained groan and was sent flying. Everyone jumped in shock once more. Just as they had thought the trend of the battle had been decided, Long Chen struck back. Long Chen sensed some kind of energy that was constantly trying to break his body apart within his injury. However, as soon as he activated the primal chaos bead, its life energy instantly healed him. Long Chen was already charging at Xinian again. Xinian had only just used his heavenly deo energy to heal, but tears still covered his face. Of course, that wasn't from being moved, but because Long Chen's kick had irritated his tear ducts, his injury had healed, but he had yet to wipe away those tears. With his turbid sight, all he managed to see was a red blur coming toward him. He was shocked. The surrounding heavenly deo energy had been seized by him. Others were unable to use it to heal, but Long Chen healed even faster than he did. Long Chen fiercely slashed down with his saber. An incomparably heavy aura locked down Xinian. Split the heavens, with Long Chen's fierce attack coming right at him. Xinian couldn't bother with how Long Chen had healed. All he could do was block. Boom. Astral winds erupted. Xinian was sent flying by Long Chen's attack, shocking everyone. This is the heaven splitting battle sect's unique battle skill. How did he learn it? cried some of the elders in shock. Split the heavens form and domineering aura were extremely easy to recognize. All the elders saw through the origin of this attack. Li Changfeng and Lu Minghan had learned about Long Chen's split the heavens back then. But upon returning, 
they had only reported it to the higher ops. The others hadn't learned of it. The elders were unable to comprehend how Long Chen had learned the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's Corb technique. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect was filled with only unreasonable fellows who definitely would not allow other sect's disciples to learn split the heavens. Meteor Fire Rain, being sent flying twice. Xinian was infuriated, forming hand seals in the air. Countless flame spheres condensed high in the sky and shot down at Long Chen. Each one of them was like a powerful meteorite, and they completely hid the sun. When the meteorites landed on the ground, they exploded and raging flames covered the land. The place Long Chen was standing turned into a sea of flames. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen charged out of the flames, lightning flickering around him. He arrived right in front of Xinian like a phantom, and he slashed with his saber. Long Chen had only just arrived beside Xinian when his expression suddenly changed. He shot backward as countless flame spears shot out of the ground. If it weren't for his sudden retreat, he would definitely have been struck. As it was, he only narrowly avoided this trap Xinian had set. Long Chen fell back seven times, just enough to dodge this trap. But when he took his eighth step, his figure suddenly vanished. When he appeared once more, he was once again by Q Xinian's side and attacked him. Everyone was shocked. They suddenly realized why Long Chen's seven steps had appeared odd. He had been accumulating energy through them. It was an incredibly outrageous tactic. However, Long Chen's saber missed. Xinian had dodged his attack and appeared in the air. The disciples were all startled. The two of them were incredibly fast with lightning reaction speeds. Their offensive and defensive moves all came without the slightest warning. This speed was something they could never hope to keep up with. Just trying to keep track of their bodies was very difficult. Long Chen's blood-colored saber was incredibly fierce, while Xinian's core flame continuously transformed into different weapons. Furthermore, he could unleash them from any part of his body, giving them great killing power. Their intense fight dazzled the disciples. As for the lightning dragon and flame dragon's fight against the flame leopard, victory or defeat Chiring had yet to be decided. They were still locked in an intense battle. He's not a celestial, but he can contend against a rank 5 celestial. This Long Chen is truly powerful. Seeing that Long Chen wasn't at the slightest disadvantage against Xinian caused people's hearts to pound. As for the women who had been worried for him, they were cheering loudly, to them, being able to fight evenly against Xinian was already Long Chen's victory. Han Yanchen's expression became exceedingly ugly. He hated Long Chen, and seeing so many people worried for him, he clenched his teeth. But he didn't dare to say a word in case he said a sensitive word and was attacked by Hua Shiyu. After fighting intensely for an incense stick's worth of time without being able to suppress Long Chen, Xinian finally snorted, HMPH, you have a few tricks. But it's not enough. I suppose I'll let you see a rank 5 celestial's true power. Spirit Blood Rocks the Heavens. Chapter 1035 Four Stars Rock the Central Plains Translator. Born to be Buzz. Following Xinian's sneer, the power of his blood key explosively grew. He had activated his spirit blood. The instant he activated his spirit blood, the web of runic chains behind him exploded. Broken bits scattered throughout all of heaven and earth. However, they didn't truly disappear. With his spirit blood activated, they had fully merged with every inch of heaven and earth, and were now imperceptible with the naked eye. Xinian's aura once more rose, causing the void to shake. It was like space was unable to bear his power. I bet you never imagined this, Long Chen. All that was before was nothing more than insignificant playtime. Only when a rank 5 celestial fully activates their spirit blood can it count as truly fighting. Now I'll teach you what despair is. The despair an ant who can forever only look up at geniuses feels. This is absolute power. Power that you couldn't hope to achieve even with a hundred years of cultivation. The space around Xinian began to shine with blinding light. It was like a huge sun. And huge flame wings appeared on his back. He shot at Long Chen like a shooting star. Surprisingly, he had abandoned his flame blade and instead sent a punch at him. Fast. Incomparably fast. Having activated his spirit blood. Xinian's speed and power had leaked immensely. There was no way for Long Chen to dodge. Boom. When Long Chen slashed Blood Drinker onto Xinian's fist, he saw concentrated blood colored runes appear on his fist. They protected him, and in front of everyone's shocked gazes, Long Chen was sent flying hundreds of meters away. Ha ha ha, you're surprised, right? This is the Heavenly Dao armor formed from activating spirit blood with Heavenly Dao runes after merging with heaven and earth. Half my heavenly Dao runes are merged with the world, absorbing energy for me, while the other half forms a set of armor around me. 
Not only can it block your attacks, but it even contains a rebound effect. Ha ha ha. Tell me, what qualifications does garbage from the wilds have to fight against me? A genius being helped even by the heavens. Laughed Xinion. The disciples watching were shocked. Even the rank 4 celestials hadn't known there were so many secrets regarding rank 5 celestials. In fact, Han Yanshan, Wei Changhe, and the other rank 5 celestials were also shocked. Even amongst rank 5 celestials, the difference could be so immense. This was the difference in foundations. Only the Central Plains rank 5 celestials had the qualifications to receive such nurturing. Compared to the Central Plains disciples, they were too poor. This was the first time the Dragonblood warriors began to feel worried for Long Chen. The current Xinian was absolutely terrifying. His innate talent had already been high. Then adding on the Central Plains Foundation, he had been turned into a monster by piling on the resources. As for Long Chen, he had been born destitute, and all his resources had to be gained through fighting with his life on the line. Furthermore, a great deal of the resources he obtained were given to the Dragonblood warriors. He not only needed to cultivate, but he also had to spend his time gathering resources. But Xinian was different. Whatever he wanted, he got. It was a completely unfair situation. Inferior trash. Do you know why I'm not in a hurry to kill you? I want to see the expression of your helpless despair as you realize inferior ants should choose inferior ways of living. Suddenly, countless red chains flew out of Xinian's hand toward Long Chen. They whistled through the air, forming hurricanes as they flew. Long Chen hastily dodged. When the red chains struck the ground, their power directly broke the incredibly firm bricks. Damn, these bricks are even harder than treasure items when they're supported by the formation. But they were still broken. Startled cries rang out. Long Chen continuously dodged, but the red chains were like a rain of arrows continuously falling toward him. In truth, these red chains were Xinian's weaponized core flame after being merged with the power of his spirit blood. Boom. Countless chains pierced through the martial stage and Xinian suddenly swung his arm. A torrent of bricks flew toward Long Chen. Long Chen slashed his saber out, breaking a few of them. But he had only just done that when a huge red hand formed in the air and wrapped around him. Long Chen was caught in its grasp. Startled cries rang out. The disciples all saw it clearly. The red chains first forced Long Chen to the defensive. Then a heaven-encompassing attack blocked his vision. At that exact moment, the attack Xinian had been storing up was unleashed to capture Long Chen. The huge hand blocked their vision now, but they were sure Long Chen was caught inside. Quite a few maidens cried out, turning pale. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, what do you have to say now? Damnable trash, what qualifications do you have to fight against me? Xinian clenched the hand, smiling sinisterly. Everyone was deathly silent. Long Chen's life was in Xinian's hands. Boss has been captured. We have to think of some way to save him, whispered Gu Yang. Are you stupid, or joking? Do you think boss will be defeated so easily? Just watch quietly, said Guo Ran confidently. Tang Wan'er was also a bit pale, but seeing how confident Guo Ran was, she was slightly comforted. Will Long Chen die? Xiao Ziyan asked worriedly. At present, that still isn't a problem. Don't you see the two dragons still fighting the flame leopard? That means it hasn't reached that critical point yet. However, my guess is that he can't last much longer anyhow. To be able to force Xinian to activate his spirit blood is enough to be proud of, said Hua Xiaoyu. Long Chen's display truly surprised her. He wasn't even a celestial, but by using some strange techniques and powerful combat skills, he was able to force a rank 5 celestial to activate their spirit blood. It truly was admirable. However, the conclusion was basically foregone. Right now, Long Chen could only make some final struggles. His efforts would only stall for time. Long Chen. I'll give you one chance. Kowtow to me three times. Call me daddy. And call yourself trash. Then I can spare your life. Said Kexinian. Naturally. That was nonsense. He had no intention of killing Long Chen. As he didn't dare to. Once he killed Long Chen. He would have broken the sect's rules and would be expelled. That price was too high. Although he had expressed an urge to kill him at the start. All his attacks had been merciful to make sure he didn't take his life. If he killed Long Chen it would be troublesome. From the start, he had already decided to torment and humiliate Long Chen as much as possible. As long as no one came to stop him, he would torment Long Chen to the point where he was half dead to vent his anger at being slapped in the face. Call you what? Long Chen's voice rang out from within the flame hand. That voice was calm, without the slightest panic. Daddy, 
Xinyan truly lived up to his name. He thought Long Chen hadn't heard clearly and obediently said what Long Chen wanted him to say. I, Long Chen, do not have a son like you. Don't call me that. Long Chen's voice dumbfounded everyone. What kind of time was it for him to play a game of tongues? Was he worried he hadn't infuriated Xinyan enough to have him kill him? Bastard. Die. Xinyan was enraged, and he tightened his hand. He was fiercely crushing Long Chen. What bravado. You don't even have the courage to kill someone. You're trash with no guts at all. What happened to your determination when you killed all those innocent disciples? Now you say you want to kill me, but you don't dare to actually. All you are is a coward who can only bully the weak. You don't dare to kill me because you're afraid of being expelled from the Zhuanshan Dao sect and losing your future, your dreams. But when you sneak attacked my flame dragon, did you once think about other people's futures and dreams? Did you once think of their fathers and mothers who are praying for them, waiting for them to return in glory? Do you know why they still continued despite knowing they might lose their lives at any moment? They put everything on the line just to change their own fates. You're the one who killed them, and you didn't even blink an eye. Furthermore, you use your filthy words to humiliate other people's dreams. When it's your turn, you hesitate like a bitch. Your dreams are dreams, but other people's dreams aren't? Just because you chose a good fetus to reincarnate into, you can trample over other people's dignity, ignore their dreams, and reap their lives. As Long Chen spoke, his voice grew louder and more emotional. It was full of fury and killing intent, and toward the end, it was a heaven-shaking roar. What kind of garbage magical art is this? It wants to bind me. Long Chen. Break. Boom. Suddenly, in front of everyone's stupefied gazes, the huge flame hand exploded, revealing Long Chen. The space around Long Chen was twisted as a terrifying pressure soared out of him. From a distance, it was like a sea was soaring into the sky. His robes and hair danced in the wind, and a blood-colored saber rested upon his shoulder. Four stars revolved in his eyes, along with boundless killing intent. It was like a devil from hell had appeared on earth. Recall how Xinian is a homophone for stupid. Chapter 1036 Blood Spirit 10,000 Beast Shield Translator Born to be just his aura was able to break apart that flame hand. What kind of power is that? Countless disciples were filled with shock. That flame hand was condensed from Xinian's core flame, and the sharp attacks of his core flame previously had been incredibly powerful. Even Hua Shiyu, Hu Gishan, and the other rank 5 celestials were shocked. They were extremely clear on the strength of that flame hand, and that made them even more shocked than the other disciples. That flame hand was condensed through a magical art combining his core energy and his spirit blood. If Long Chen managed to break it by unleashing a full strength attack, perhaps that would be understandable. But he hadn't done anything. Just his aura had caused the large hand to explode. The four-colored divine ring behind him began to revolve quicker. The faster it revolved, the stronger Long Chen's aura grew. In the end, the divine ring was circulating so fast that it appeared still. Long Chen's aura had reached an exceedingly terrifying level. The most terrifying thing about it was the will within it. That will was not targeted against anyone. It was a will to destroy the entire world. The Elder Hall Master smiled slightly upon seeing this incomparably fierce and powerful appearance. He stealthily glanced at the sky. There was nothing up there, but his smile grew wider. The Zuan Master was currently hidden in the sky. Seeing the four stars circulating within Long Chen's eyes, his pupil shrank slightly. This is, yes. This is the aura possessed by cultivation techniques from before the immortal era. But in our current age, there's no way to be sure. An ancient voice rang out in the Zuan Master's ears. An age from before the immortal era. That really is inconceivable. After that tribulation, the Martial Heaven continent was basically crippled. And its cultivation civilization was almost severed. Only a few smaller powers were lucky and managed to inherit a portion of the immortal era's arts. And the majority were incomplete. What terrifying luck Long Chen must have to be able to come into contact with something on that level. It seems this little fellow is hiding quite a few secrets, said the Zuan Master. For something on that level, even if it's just an incomplete piece, or even just a decimal of a decimal, it would require great karmic luck to obtain. Otherwise, even if you obtained it, you would be implicated by that treasure and killed. This Long Chen was able to come into contact with the cultivation technique from before the immortal era, and he still hasn't died. Most likely, ever since he obtained it, his life was never very happy. All his karmic luck was sucked away by the treasure, and the greater the treasure, the more bad luck he'll have to suffer to pay the debt. 
Liu Kang investigated his past and found that his life took a sudden turn when he was 15 years old. He should have obtained the treasure at that time. But a key condensation brat can't possibly possess so much karmic luck. So whatever he obtained, it was just an extremely, extremely small portion of the inheritance. Or he'd have died, sighed the voice. Then that's regretful. I like this little fellow's disposition. But his fate has already been entwined with the treasure he obtained. I can't help him. Unless he can one day make up for his overdrafted karmic luck, then I could consider handing the Zuanchen Dao sect to him, said the Zuan master. That's unrelated to me. I held the Zuan master position for over 8,000 years, and you finally arrived. The burden's yours now. As for who you pass the burden to, that's your matter. But I feel like you should consider it more if you want to hand it to Long Chen. He's not that dependable, warned the ancient voice. The Zuan master laughed. Master. You're already withdrawn from your post, so you don't need to worry about this. Since you've entrusted the Dao sect to me, you can just peacefully go into seclusion. I pulled you out of seclusion just to warn you about that little fellow. The reincarnation mirror also said that he is a double-edged blade. A mistake will cause great harm to the Zuanchen Dao sect so, I'm warning you, don't even think about running into seclusion because you're lazy. By the time we come out of seclusion, the Dao sect's doors will probably be permanently closed. Am I really that unreliable in your eyes? The Zuan master smiled bitterly. Youngsters aren't as reliable as their elders, was the reply. Fine, I'll keep a close eye on things. Go into seclusion, said the Zuan master helplessly. No one else heard the conversation between the Zuan master and the patriarch. Everyone's attention was focused on the martial stage. Long Chen appeared like a devil from hell. He slowly walked toward a shocked Xinian. Die. Long Chen suddenly shot forward. Xinian's hair stood on end as he sensed a feeling of death. He was a true expert who had experienced life and death battles. Hence, his sense of danger was extremely sensitive. He knew that the current Long Chen had the power to kill him. That shocked him. He had never imagined that someone who wasn't even a celestial would possess the power to kill him. Blood Spirit Blaze Shield. Xinian suddenly took out a blood-colored shield. Countless runes revolved around it and it released endless life force. Xinian is actually forced on the defensive. That blood spirit play shield is his strongest defensive art, said Hua Shiyu. Seeing Xinian be forced onto the defensive, Hua Shiyu, Hu Gishan, and the others were all shocked. Was Long Chen truly so powerful? Boom. Long Chen's saber slashed onto Xinian's shield. What? What shocked everyone was that this random blow from Long Chen actually tore through Xinian's shield. Xinian was forced seven steps back, and with each step, the martial stage cracked. It was clear how powerful the force he was under was. Seven steps blew him 300 meters back. There were seven large spider web cracks on the martial stage now. Split the heavens too. Xinian had only just stabilized when Long Chen appeared in the air, his saber slashing down. A mile long saber image filled with an unstoppable air caused everyone's hearts to shake. As expected, it's the undefeatable Dao. Just his aura is able to steal away a person's will to resist, said an elder. Previously, they had been suspicious, but this attack confirmed those suspicions. Those who walk that path crumble far too easily. Practically, no one is able to raise such disciples, and even if they do, they need Dao protectors. But Long Chen doesn't meet any of those requirements, said another elder. Geniuses who chose the undefeatable Dao were all peerless heavenly geniuses. By maintaining a perfect record of never being defeated in the same realm, they cultured an undefeatable Dao heart. But it was too difficult to maintain a perfect record. Just one loss was enough to cause their Dao heart to crumble. They would be afflicted by a heart devil and would essentially be crippled. There were few geniuses who chose that path, and their sects found it extremely difficult to raise them. As a result, it was almost impossible to find a disciple who chose to cultivate the undefeatable Dao. And such people needed Dao protectors by their side to prevent enemies from sneak attacking them while they were still too weak. If they encountered others in the same realm who they weren't assured of defeating, the Dao protectors would prevent a battle from occurring. But Long Chen couldn't possibly meet such conditions. A disciple with no background couldn't possibly walk the undefeatable Dao. But this undefeatable will unleashed by Long Chen's attack was undoubtable. Even the disciples felt a great deal of pressure. Blood Spirit 10,000 Beast Shield. Seeing Long Chen's saber slashing at him as quick as lightning, Xinian roared and clapped his hands together. A supreme shield formed before him. This shield had countless designs of beasts carved into it. It was like it was alive, and bestial roars came from it. 
Just looking at this shield gave people an urge to give up on fighting Xenion. For them to attack this shield would be like an ant trying to shake a tree. This was Xenion's greatest defensive skill. Even Hua Shiyu hadn't known about it, as Xenion had been hoping to crush Long Chen while holding back as much as possible. That was because in his eyes, Long Chen wasn't worth anything. His opponents were his fellow heavenly geniuses like Hua Shiyu and Hu Gishan, and his trump cards were supposed to be used to deal with them. But now, he couldn't hold back anymore. Boom. The blood-colored saber slashed into his huge shield, releasing surging key waves. The saber image and shield exploded at the same time. Countless runes filled the martial stage. Eventually they faded, revealing the two of them. Countless people couldn't help letting out cold gasps. Chapter 1037 Flame Monster Translator Born to be when the runes finally faded, it revealed Long Chen with his saber resting on his shoulder, expressionlessly staring at the person in front of him. The stage in front of Long Chen was a complete mess. The bricks had all exploded, revealing a metallic foundation. The bricks were just ornamental. Now it revealed the true core of the platform, and it was incomparably sturdy. The martial stage looked like a mural that had been torn open. In front of Long Chen was Xinian. He stood there motionless. Drip, drip, drip. Beads of blood descended from the space between Xinian's forehead to his nose and then dripped onto the ground. Flowers of blood rapidly bloomed on the ground below him. The disciples outside all looked at the martial stage in shock. Long Chen's attack had actually broken Xinian's shield and injured him. That was different from the previous face slap. This had been a true collision of power without the slightest technique. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. But unexpectedly, Xinian suddenly raised his head and laughed. With his messed up hair, he looked like he had gone insane. Good, Long Chen. You really surprised me. I didn't think you were hiding so many trump cards, disguising yourself as a pig to eat the tiger. I admit I underestimated you, said Xinian. The blood dripping down his face made him appear even more sinister. I, Long Chen, never disguise myself as a pig to eat the tiger. That's just a senseless game. Those who can eat tigers have no need to disguise themselves as pigs. The only one trying to disguise themselves as a pig is you. Are you planning on still holding back and being a pig? If you are, then I don't mind being a butcher, said Long Chen. What? The disciples were startled. According to Long Chen, it seemed Xinian was still holding back? Furthermore, it seemed that even Long Chen was holding back. Then what had been that terrifying fight? A warm-up? Ha ha ha. Since you want to die, I'll let you die in peace. I'll show you my true power. Boom. The flame leopard fighting against the lightning and flame dragon suddenly vanished. When it once more appeared, it was behind Xinian. Flame ancestor heaven merging art. A golden rune suddenly lit up on Xinian's forehead. At the same time, an identical golden rune lit up on the flame leopard's head. Rumbling filled the air as the huge flame leopard was slowly absorbed by Xinian. Countless runes began to shine on Xinian's body, and he became like a blazing sun. A terrifying aura also surged into the sky. In that instant, intense heat waves suddenly erupted, and the disciples were caught off guard. A few of them who didn't flee fast enough had their clothes catch on fire. These heat waves completely ignored their heavenly Deo energy with their defenses bypassed. Quite a few people ended up butt naked, as Xinian merged with his earth flame beast. Long Chen hastily retreated. He also summoned Lai Long and Huo Long to his side. He had known Xinian was still hiding a trump card, but he hadn't thought he would be able to merge with his earth flame beast. His current aura was still rapidly growing, and it had already reached a terrifying level. Those heat waves were like erupting lava novaloon.com heavens. The martial stages bricks are deforming melting from the heat. Following one person's cry, everyone hastily looked and saw that, as expected, the bricks on the martial stage now appeared like lard. If I was on the martial stage, I'd probably be dead without a corpse, said a rank four celestial. Within that space, let alone fighting, he wouldn't even be able to exist. Long Chen's dead now. He actually made Xinian show off his final trump card. I wonder if he'll end up dying accidentally, said Hu Gishan. Fan Song nodded. They were all holding back their strongest trump cards and wouldn't use them easily. Those were their killing moves against powerful opponents. Once such a move was exposed, others would be able to study their weak points and come up with counters. Then their killing blows would be ineffective. For Long Chen to force Xinian to reveal this precious move, it was clear that Xinian's hatred for Long Chen had reached a pinnacle. Even if he didn't kill Long Chen, he would definitely cripple him. Whether it was Hua Shiyu, Hu Gishan, Fan Song, or Wang's hen.
they had yet to reveal their true power, and their trump cards were still secret. Now, the four of them were prepared for Xinian's trump cards, and so he would end up at an immense disadvantage in their future competitions. Boom. Suddenly, a blinding light erupted. They had no choice but to turn away. When the light slowly faded and everyone looked back at the martial stage, they were shocked by what they saw. Xinian was covered in flames. His head had completely transformed. It was now a leopard's head with fangs protruding out of its mouth and scarlet eyes. As for his hands and feet, long claws had grown out of them. Most shocking of all, he now had a lengthy tail. He had turned into a flame monster. Long Chen, do you see this? This is my strongest state. As for before, I wasn't even using half my power. I like to see people with hopeful expressions right before I thrust them into despair. Now tell me, what are you going to use to fight me? The monstrous Xinian still managed to speak, but his voice had completely transformed. It sounded like metal clashing against metal and was painful to listen to. Everyone looked toward Long Chen, but the expression of shock and despair they had expected was nowhere to be found. You truly are powerful, said Long Chen indifferently. Are you afraid? It's too late. Xinian suddenly shot forward. The martial stage trembled intensely, and Xinian appeared in front of Long Chen in an instant, a fist smashing down. What speed? Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Xinian's speed had multiplied after entering this monstrous state. Long Chen was almost unable to track him with his eyes. Long Chen shot to the side, narrowly avoiding the attack, but just as he was preparing to counterattack, Xinian seemed to teleport, appearing in front of him again. Boom. Long Chen barely managed to swing Blood Drinker halfway before Xinian's fist smashed into his chest. He wildly vomited blood and shot back like a shooting star, smashing into the barrier. Boss, cried the Dragon Blood Warriors. The current Xinian was actually too strong for Long Chen. Long Chen, I said that I'd crush you like a dog. Xinian laughed sinisterly and shot after Long Chen once more. The disciples outside let out startled cries. If such a terrifying attack struck Long Chen again in his already injured state, it was very likely for a life to be lost. But what none of them expected was that the sight of Long Chen being smashed into pieces never appeared. Instead, a scale-covered hand caught the flame fist. What? No one could believe their eyes. Just now, Long Chen had been heavily injured and vomiting blood. But now he was standing, a hand tightly holding Xinian's fist. Long Chen's hand was covered in green scales. They rapidly spread down his arm. Xinian was shocked. He had never imagined Long Chen would possess the power to block his attack. He tried several times, but he was unable to pull back his hand. Xinian reflexively swung out his other fist. As a result, Long Chen caught it with his other hand. Their arms were locked together. I wasn't finished speaking before. You truly are powerful. If I hadn't devoured one of your earth flame beasts, I really might not have been your match, said Long Chen. Dragon scales continued to spread over his whole body. That was an extremely strange sight that dumbfounded the disciples outside. They hadn't thought that even at this time, Long Chen had been holding back. Idiot, are you saying you're my match now? Xinian's leopard mouth suddenly opened, and a blazing flame arrow shot at Long Chen's head. This attack formed so suddenly that it made everyone jump. If this arrow struck at such close range while boosted with his spirit blood, Long Chen really might die. But just as Xinian's arrow formed, Long Chen fiercely pushed his arms to the side. He sent a kick straight up at Xinian's jaw. As a result, the flame arrow shot upward, smashing into the barrier. The barrier trembled intensely, while Xinian was sent flying. I dislike people who spout crap from their mouths. Since you've taken out your trump card, I won't hide mine any longer. Green Dragon Battle Armor The green scales finally covered every inch of Long Chen's body. In that instant, a grand domineering, noble aura erupted, one that looked down on all others. Chapter 1038 A Full Strength Exchange Translator Born to be when Long Chen summoned the complete green dragon battle armor, a spiritual pressure erupted that caused everyone's expressions to change. Whether it was the disciples, the elders, or the hall masters, they felt a reverence that originated from the depths of their souls. This is true dragon pressure. Green Drake and White Drake were telling the truth. He truly possesses the essence blood of a true dragon. The hidden Zuan master nodded to himself. The green drake and white drake he was talking about were the two tenth rank Zuan beasts who had been standing at the top of the Zuanshan staircase during the trial for outer sect disciples. Long Chen's body was covered in green dragon scales. Waves of spiritual pressure came out of the barrier, and some disciples actually began to kneel on the ground one by one. 
Over a thousand disciples knelt on the ground. The other disciples didn't understand, but the elders knew. Those disciples were ancient race disciples. The blood of Zuan beasts flowered in their bodies, and under the pressure of dragon blood, they involuntarily knelt. There was no way for them to resist that instinct. As for the humans, they merely felt some pressure and it was not so direct. So they were a bit better off. Suddenly, a light cracking sound rang out. People looked at the martial stage to see that the bricks had long since disappeared. Now, only the foundation remained, and that foundation was starting to crack right where Long Chen was standing. Heavens, how strong is he? Xin Ian's flames after transforming into a flame monster had already melted the bricks with its abnormal power. But even those flames hadn't been able to damage the foundation. Are you prepared? I'm about to attack. Long Chen leaned forward slightly, and suddenly, a thunderous pitch rang out. He shot out like a bolt of lightning, his fist smashing toward Xin Ian. There was no technique, no flowery appearance. It was a pure and simple punch, and yet it locked down heaven and earth, making it completely unavoidable. Arrogance. Do you think I, Xin Ian, am afraid of the likes of you? Boom. Xin Ian's flames roared out, following his own fist. When their two fists collided, the entire martial stage shook violently. Powerful key waves surged out, striking against the barrier. The barrier swayed and suddenly, a slight wave exploded out of it, striking the disciples. The disciples closest to the barrier immediately vomited blood and were knocked back, causing chaos amongst the crowd. The barrier blocked 90% of the shockwave's power, but it still managed to injure people. These two disciples are truly powerful, praised an elder. Those disciples climbed up in the distance, all of them pale from terror. Without the barrier, they would have been killed. Looking at the barrier, they saw that the two of them were still locked in combat. Both their fists were still striking at the other, and the space around them was twisting wildly. A sphere of light gradually formed around their fists. The two of them were clearly increasing their power rapidly. Suddenly, their other fists also collided together. The martial stage became covered in cracks, and those cracks rapidly grew. Finally, the martial stage could no longer bear their power, and it collapsed. A huge hole appeared where the two of them were, but they were still facing off in the same posture. It was a simple competition of power. A fiery expression appeared in Fan Song's eyes as he watched this exchange. He unconsciously clenched his fists. He specialized in power, and watching them compete like this, his own hands grew itchy. At this time, Xin Ian's expression was twisted and sinister like a wild beast. But what startled the disciples was that Long Chen's expression was still calm as if this wasn't very taxing to him. In terms of power, you've already lost completely. Can you still not tell? Said Long Chen after a while. Bullshit. I have plenty of power left. Roared Xin Ian. You really are an idiot. If I had wanted to kill you from the start, I could have slain you in one shot at least three times already. You didn't even notice this. Long Chen shook his head. Long Chen's words caused all the disciples to feel shocked. Those words were too arrogant, weren't they? Three times? Killed in one shot? But Long Chen's current power didn't seem any weaker than a rank 5 celestial at this time. According to reason, he had no reason to say such easily exposed bragging. Do you think I'm a three-year-old child? You want to use such a fake lie to shake my confidence? Sneered Xin Ian. Long Chen shook his head. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. The reason I didn't kill you and allowed you to show off, to increase your power bit by bit, well, the reason is actually quite similar to your own. You wanted to enjoy the sight of my pain, or my despair, but what I wanted was to give other people hope and confidence. I want to show everyone that even without talent, even without powerful backers, even without a rich daddy, as long as you work hard, you can still become strong. A person who calls himself a genius and likes to trample others will eventually be trampled on one day. Today, I let you properly put on your act just so I could trample you perfectly. And after trampling you, I'll be using your head as a sacrifice to those brothers whose dreams and aspirations were cut short by you. Long Chen's voice was extremely calm, almost as if he was recounting a story set in stone. But it was as shocking as thunder in other people's ears. So he really was serious. His agreement to the hall master had been nothing more than bait to get Xin Ian onto the martial stage. He was going to kill him regardless of the rules. Those disciples who had been protected by the Dragonblood warriors turned red-eyed. Such a chivalrous person made them incomparably moved. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, don't kill this bastard. It's not worth you being expelled from the sect, cried a disciple. There's no need to shout. They can't hear you inside anyways. 
Furthermore, no one can change the things that boss decides on. Just watch. Guo Ran waved his hand. He, Long Chen treats your words as nothing more than farts. It's all because of how your elder hall raises people. The law enforcement hall master didn't forget to insult to the elder hall master. As for the elder hall master, his expression didn't even twitch. It was like he hadn't even heard him. He was completely focused on the figure on the martial stage. Xinian was roaring furiously and unleashing his full power now, but he was unable to shake Long Chen in the slightest. Instead, Long Chen's power was growing faster than his own. Boom. Finally, Xinian was forced back a step, and as a result, the martial stage once more crumbled. Long Chen pressed forward like he was pushing a cart. Xinian was forced to fall back, and with each step he took, the ground shattered. Even the elders were no longer able to stay calm. Just how was Long Chen so powerful? They were unaware that as Long Chen's cultivation base increased, the power of the Green Dragon battle armor also increased. Even Long Chen didn't know how strong he was. At this time, Xinian was still trying to compete with Long Chen in brute power, the thing he specialized in the most. As a result, Xinian was repeatedly forced back. The disciples watching were unable to believe their eyes. Although Xinian was the one who appeared like a monster right now, it was Long Chen who they viewed as the more terrifying monster. Bastard, since you want to die, don't blame me. Xinian roared. The rune on his forehead suddenly spread and covered his whole body. That rune began to burn. In that instant, it was like a volcano that had been sealed for 10,000 years was finally erupting. Boom. The ground exploded. Long Chen was instantly sent flying back by Q Xinian's new power. Has he gone crazy? He ignited his spirit blood. Even the icy Wang's hen was filled with disbelief. As peak experts who had reached the realm of merging with heaven and earth, he and the others naturally knew what Xinian was doing. This was no ordinary ignition of his spirit blood. In the state of merging with heaven and earth, igniting his spirit blood was also igniting his corunes. It was an extremely destructive technique. Now, not only would the purity of his spirit blood drop, but his core would also be injured. Both were as precious as one's life to celestials. Was it worth it for him to ignite his spirit blood for a moment of transcendent power? Die, roared Xinian. He attacked Long Chen with a huge flame blade. Long Chen snorted and Blood Rinker once more appeared in his hand. Boom, boom, boom. Each time their weapons collided, the ground would explode. The martial stage had been turned into a completely unrecognizable state. Their two figures continued to clash within the barrier, appearing like two shooting stars repeatedly crashing against each other. Each collision shook heaven and earth. The disciples watching were all terrified. They had never seen such a fierce battle before. A battle on this intensity completely dazzled them, and it continued for a full hour. The stage within the barrier had vanished completely, but the two of them were still fighting. Bastard, hurry up and die. Xinian's flame blade suddenly transformed. It grew explosively and took on a red shade like blood. With boundless killing intent, all the energy of heaven and earth was instantly sucked away by it. Blood blaze annihilation slash. The huge blade descended from the sky. This was Xinian's most powerful attack. Once he used it, his aura clearly dropped a great deal. I don't have much spiritual yuan left. Then let's decide victory or death ensuring with this move. Long Chen clenched his teeth. He raised blood drinker. The energy within his four seas pouring through 27 acupuncture points. A blood red saber image rose into the sky. Split the heavens three. Chapter 1039 Paying the Price Translator Born to be within that barrier Two huge blood red saber images clashed with apocalyptic power The barrier was instantly filled with red light And it became impossible to see anything within Boom Only after a moment did the explosion ring out That barrier inflated like a balloon Growing to several times its original size in an instant The disciples jumped in fright and hastily fled If the barrier exploded They wouldn't even have a corpse left Fortunately, after expanding violently, the barrier didn't explode. It slowly returned to its original size. Two figures panted for breath within the barrier. Long Chen's saber was propped against the ground, his face pale. The third form of split the heavens was incomparably sharp, but its exhaustion was also terrifying. Long Chen's spiritual yuan had basically reached rock bottom, which startled him. Xinian had such plentiful spiritual yuan that even four key seas weren't enough to outspend him. But then thinking about it, he supposed that made sense. Xinian was a celestial, and after merging with heaven and earth, he was able to constantly draw out the energy of the world to fight. Xinian was crazily panting.
the rune covering his body had dimmed, and his aura had dropped precipitously. Long Chen took a deep breath and raised his saber. After stabilizing his aura slightly, he began to walk toward Xinian. Even now, he still wants to fight, cried the disciples. Xinian also took a deep breath and straightened his waist. He took control of the last dregs of his spiritual yuan as the critical moment arrived. Kill. Long Chen and Xinian roared at the same time. Long Chen's saber collided heavily with Xinian's flame blade. Both sides were sent flying by each other's power, and their auras dropped once more. Heavenly net meteor fall. Xinian formed hand seals, and the flames around him disappeared, replaced by a huge flame sphere that shot toward Long Chen. The flame sphere was originally just a couple dozen meters wide, but halfway, it suddenly grew by ten times, releasing a raging rumbling sound as it flew through the air. Long Chen knew this was Xinian's combination attack with his Earth Flame Beast. Without even thinking about, he activated the two dragon tattoos on his arms. Double Dragon Destruction. Lai Long and Huo Long flew out, crashing together with the Flame Sphere. Flames and lightning raged in the air. Long Chen and Xinian were both sent flying once more, vomiting blood and their bodies almost collapsing. After that collision, People were startled to see that whether it was Xinian's Earth Flame Beast or Long Chen's Lightning and Flame Dragons, they had all shrunk a great deal. The two dragons were only 300 meters long now, while Xinian's Flame Leopard was only the size of an ordinary magical beast. Both sides had used up too much of their power, and in order to avoid their bodies dissipating, they had no choice but to condense their remaining energy into smaller forms. The two dragons tore at the Flame Leopard while the Flame Leopard retaliated with its life on the line. But compared to their previous fight, it was now like three children scuffling. There was no power to speak of. That collision had heavily injured Long Chen and Xinian. However, Long Chen was a bit better off since his physical body was his strong point. With his thick skin, his injuries weren't that bad. The primal chaos space's trees had already withered. Thus, there was no way for him to extract more life energy from them to heal. Long Chen found that his body had already grown to a level where these trees were no longer able to keep up with his demands. Just healing a few smaller injuries completely exhausted their energy. As for Xinian, he was worse off. He had already sent out his Earth Flame Beast with that attack, so he hadn't been protected by it. He had needed to exhaust his little remaining spiritual yuan to protect himself. But because he had ignited his core runes already, the amount of energy he could absorb from heaven and earth had dropped greatly. As a result, this attack had almost shattered all his bones. Bite it. Long Chen struggled up and ordered Lai Long and Huo Long. The two dragons immediately ignored their opponent's attack and wrapped themselves around it as hard as they could. Following that, a strange thing occurred. The flame leopard disappeared along with the lightning and flame dragons. Xinian's expression instantly changed. Because at that moment, he lost his spiritual connection with his earth flame beast. Long Chen, you really are looking to die roared Xinian. He knew this was definitely done by Long Chen. He had taken away his Earth Flame Beast. His guess was correct. Perhaps if his Earth Flame Beast still had its energy, Long Chen wouldn't have been able to do anything to it. But now, it was weak, unable to bear another blow. With Lai Long and Huo Long's help, Long Chen had drawn it into the Primal Chaos Space. As soon as the Flame Leopard entered the Primal Chaos Space, it seemed to sense something and became motionless, not daring to move. Huo Long did not hesitate to go devour it, but it was stopped by Long Chen. He had Lai Long and Huo Long keep watch over it. Now wasn't the time to handle it yet as he had more pressing things to do. Holding Blood Rinker, Long Chen slowly walked toward Xinian. Although his hair was messy, his robes were torn, and blood was all over his body, he didn't seem sloppy. Instead, he seemed to possess a wild domineering air as well as a wanton grandness. Seeing Long Chen walk over to Xinian. Everyone's hearts rose into their throats, looking at that wild and domineering figure, as well as that blood-red saber resting on his shoulder, it was like they were watching the advancement of a death god, is he really going to kill him, that was the question resounding in people's minds, looking at the current situation, Long Chen had taken an absolute advantage, they could all see a trace of fear within Xinian's enraged expression, although his face was twisted like a monster. It gave people a feeling like he was trying to cover up his inner fear. When Long Chen reached Xinian, without a word, he slashed his saber down. Xinian used his final bit of energy to condense a flame shield. When struck, his shield exploded and he tumbled back miserably, vomiting blood. Long Chen also didn't have it that well off. The backlash caused Blood Rinker to fly out of his grasp. 
It clanked and fell to the ground. Meanwhile, the wounds all over his body opened once more. Those wounds were from their previous exchange. He was no longer able to forcibly suppress them, and they began to bleed profusely. Long Chen picked up Blood Drinker with his left hand and rested it against his shoulder. His right hand was now numb and couldn't lift it. The same as last time, Long Chen began to walk over to Xinian with the exact same rhythm. The sound of his steps was like an overture of death. Xinian crawled up and immediately vomited a mouthful of blood. He was pale as paper, having ignited a great deal of his essence blood and core energy. He was in a terrible situation now. He didn't have the slightest bit of energy left in his body. Looking at Long Chen walking over to him without a word, Xinian felt like Long Chen was an emotionless death god who had come to reap his life. Long Chen, I don't believe you dare to kill me. If you dare, Xinian's words were cut off by Long Chen's advancing saber. It was aimed at Xinian's neck, but in his exhausted state, Long Chen ended up deviating from his planned path, while Xinian also instinctively dodged. As a result, his saber struck Xinian's chest. If it was a normal time, Long Chen's saber could blow Xinian to pieces, but now, his attack had no power behind it, only leaving behind a deep cut. Long Chen's body wobbled slightly as he felt a wave of exhaustion washing over him. He took a deep breath and adjusted himself. Once more resting Blood Drinker on his shoulder, he pressed onward toward Xinian. But the people watching could all see that Long Chen had already reached his limit a while ago. At this time, his saber was constantly quivering in his grasp. However, Long Chen's expression was still calm. No one further questioned Long Chen's resolve to kill Xinian. Long Chen, you won't have a good ending if you kill me. You'll be expelled. Xinian was finally afraid. Now he understood that Long Chen's words at the beginning had been an oath to himself. Long Chen's goal wasn't to humiliate him or force him to surrender. It was purely to kill him. I know. Long Chen's indifferent voice was so calm that it was frightening. Then why do you still want to kill me? Roared Xinian. To give an explanation to those who died. Said Long Chen. They weren't your relatives or your friends. Why do you have to do this? Roared Xinian. Because they once trusted me with their lives. Said Long Chen. The disciples beside the dragon blood warriors were unable to make a sound anymore. They had never imagined that they would meet someone who would give up his core disciple spot and even give up his life to get revenge for some fallen brothers just because of this one moment of trust. They felt like even if they had to die immediately, their lives had been worthwhile now. At this moment, they understood the true reason why the dragon blood warriors called him boss. It was because Long Chen truly viewed every one of the people who followed him as a brother. For hot-blooded men, crying was a weak display, and yet these displays couldn't help themselves, and no one laughed at them for it. Bastard, you're going to throw away your future just because of this. If you wanted to humiliate me, if you wanted to establish your name, you've already done it. Just what do you want? Shouted Xinian. To kill you, said Long Chen. As he got closer, he slowly raised Blood Drinker. No, you can't kill me. Xinian roared unwillingly. This is the price of trampling over other people's dreams and lives. Actions have consequences. Long Chen shook his head, and Blood Drinker flashed with a cold light. It thrust straight toward Xinian's head. The word for boss means biggest brother. Chapter 1040 Son of Fate Translator Born to be seeing Long Chen's saber stab toward Xinian's forehead, the disciples outside all let out startled cries. Xinian's spirit blood was exhausted. He had no way to circulate heavenly Dao energy and he had no spiritual yuan. Once pierced, with no energy to protect his soul, he really would die. A rank 5 celestial was about to die just like this? No one had expected things to develop to this point. The hall master was already gripping the chessboard. He was just about to take action when the Zuan master's voice rang out in his head. No need. Just at this moment, Long Chen's saber reached Xinian's head. The sharp tip easily pierced Xinian's skin and continued forward. But just as his saber was about to pierce Xinian's brain, a light suddenly erupted from Xinian's head. He vanished. A life-protecting talisman, cried a few elders in shock. So it was still a failure. This, goddamn, luck. Long Chen was no longer able to keep hold of Blood Drinker. It fell to the ground. At the same time, he felt the world spinning around him. His vision darkened and he fainted. He had never felt so tired. Fainting felt like a blessing. Within the endless darkness, Long Chen felt a kind of peace. Within this darkness, there was nothing for him to worry or to think about. He felt completely relaxed. Long Chen, can you hear my call? Suddenly, a voice rang out within Long Chen's soul. That was a very familiar voice. 
Who are you? Asked Long Chen. There's no need to ask that question. All you need to know is that you are the son of fate. Millions of lives rest in your hands. Hurry and grow stronger, or it will be too late. Pressed that voice noveloon.com what will be too late? Can you not explain it clearly? Raged Long Chen. Even now, he didn't know what this voice was or what it was talking about. You're too weak right now. If you were noticed, you'd be immediately killed. Take advantage of while they still haven't noticed you to grow, or everything will be destroyed. That voice did not answer his question. Do you have something wrong with your brain? Don't just tell half the story, roared Long Chen. Only getting little bits and pieces like this was driving him mad. Long Chen, what you need to do is that voice suddenly vanished. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Roared Long Chen. What do you mean what am I doing? I'm healing you. A female voice rang out, one that contained some anger. The darkness had vanished. Long Chen was lying on a bed, with a green-robed woman glaring at him. Ah, sorry, where am I? Apologized Long Chen. He looked around and saw that he was in a simple room with all kinds of instruments that he didn't know the purpose of. Long Chen, you're awake. Suddenly, a burst of fragrance attacked him. Tang Wanner rushed over to his side. I just checked him. He's basically fine. You can leave whenever, said that green-robed woman before taking her leave. Speak, pervert. Did you exploit her? Tang Wanner suspiciously stared at Long Chen. What are you talking about? She's not even 1,000th as pretty as you. Long Chen smiled. Dislikable. Tang Wanner hit Long Chen, but she blushed with some rarely seen charm. Long Chen laughed mischievously inside. He, I can handle her with just a sentence now. It could be said that he was completely clear on Tang Wanner's temperament now. Although she was fiery, she still had the thoughts of a woman. If he didn't get on her nerves so often, her temper wouldn't be so explosive. Wanner, did that fellow die? Asked Long Chen. You're a fool. You almost provoked a calamity because you wanted to kill him. Can you not be more calm-headed? Tang Wanner's eyes reddened slightly, as she was deeply worried about him. Cough. You can't blame that on me. Looking at how much of a show-off he was, if I didn't cut him down, it would have been unworthy of his display. So, what happened in the end? Asked Long Chen. Tang Wanner rebuked. You scoundrel. You really infuriate me. Just as you were about to kill Xinian. He activated a life-protecting talisman within his body. He was teleported away, and the Elder Hall Master had to use the Zuanshan Jade Board to find him again. When he found him, he was unconscious, and just like you, he was sent to the Healing Hall. Senior Apprentice Sister Mu Kingsuin personally came to heal you, so you have to properly thank her. She spent a great deal of time and energy to heal you. Long Chen nodded. His powerful physical body required an immense amount of life energy to heal once it was injured. Mu Kingsuin had probably ended up using her core energy to allow him to heal so quickly. Long Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. Then is Xinian right next door. What are you thinking? You better be more well behaved for me, warned Tang Wanur. Am I that kind of person? I just want to see if he's well, said Long Chen. Who would believe you? Let me tell you, this matter was personally suppressed by the Zuan Master. So don't you dare cause it to erupt again. Even the Zuan master was disturbed. Of course. You ignored the sect's rules and tried to kill a fellow disciple. The law enforcement hall master declared that he had to heavily punish you using torture tools as an example for the other disciples. But a portion of the elders said that while you might have gone against the rules, you didn't succeed in the end and it wasn't a grave offense. So it should be forgivable. Well, the main thing was that those elders wanted to be lenient to a genius like you. The law enforcement hall immediately turned hostile and said that you had to be handed to them, as this matter was their responsibility, and others couldn't interfere. The Zuan master had to personally send out orders to revoke your core disciple position and downgrade you to an intersect disciple in order to get them to shut their mouths, said Tang Wanur. That law enforcement hall master is just an idiot, cursed Long Chen viciously. No matter how he looked at that old bastard, he saw nothing good about him. Long Chen, you have to calm down. We still haven't established ourselves in the Deo sect thus. It's extremely unfavorable to make strong enemies now. Just leave the matter with Xinian alone. Persuaded Tang Wanur. Long Chen shook his head. Wanur, you know who I am. I always act according to my heart. And I definitely can't let Xinian off after he killed so many innocent disciples. But don't worry. I wasn't able to fight him to the death this time. So next time, I'll play him to death within the rules. I guarantee I won't cause you any more worry, seeing how solemnly Long Chen promised. Tang Wanner could only helplessly nod along, 
Long Chen was conceding as much as he was willing to her. Following this, Long Chen asked about the Dragonblood Legion. Tang Wan Er told him that although he had been stripped of his core disciple position, he had still retained the right to establish his own faction due to the special circumstances. Those other disciples who he had led in the Intersect trial had all joined him, and so their faction had instantly exploded in size. Tang Wan Er still wasn't used to seeing so many faces, but the comforting thing was that those new disciples were all extremely obedient due to their gratitude toward Long Chen. So despite the leap in numbers, it was still easy to handle things. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. In the beginning, he had felt a burst of compassion and been unwilling to see that group of abandoned disciples be killed in the trial. He hadn't originally been thinking about expanding the Dragonblood Legion, but now, that probably wasn't something that he could decide. He couldn't refuse so many sincere faces. Although these disciples had lower talent and power, their loyalty was no problem at all. It was just that there were too many of them, and Long Chen felt the pressure increase. From Tang Wan Er, Long Chen learned he had been unconscious for seven days. During this week, quite a few things had happened. Tang Wan Er had been in charge of the Dragonblood Legion. She had first gone to register their faction, and then there had been procedures to follow. Fortunately, this kind of structure was something Tang Wan Er had already experienced in the 108th Monastery, and so she was able to handle things smoothly. During the procedures, she had met with some conflicts with the Divine Beast Mansion, Hegemon Hall, and Flame Gate's disciples, but in the end, she decided to endure and so no huge battles erupted. Fuck, I bet their faces are getting itchy again, they're just waiting for me to slap them, cursed Long Chen. His battle with Xinian had given him a warning, his own foundation was much weaker than theirs. When it came to true combat power, he probably wouldn't have been Xinian's match if he hadn't already handled one of his Earth Flame Beasts before the fight. If Xinian had merged with the power of two Earth Flames, then to defeat Chiring him would have required Long Chen to actually risk his life. He wouldn't have been able to win so reliably through pure power. However, the stronger the opponent, the more excited he felt. Only by fighting against experts could he find where he was still lacking and how he could improve. Only when there was pressure was there motivation. Tang Wan Er continued to tell him about what had happened, and what made Long Chen particularly moved was that the new 13,000 disciples didn't go exchange their points to get pills, weapons, or techniques. Instead, they gave them all to Tang Wan Er. At that time, Tang Wan Er had been stunned. The faction's job was to distribute benefits to its disciples to make the faction more cohesive. There had never been a faction that took in the disciples' points. Tang Wan Er hadn't accepted. And so those disciples had said that their lives were the Dragonblood Legions. Their everything was the Dragonblood Legions. They were simple words. But Long Chen could feel their sincerity and trust. He was extremely moved. Trust had to be mutual. These are good problems. Tomorrow, I'll go out and think of a way to get points. Said Long Chen. His family had grown bigger. And he had more mouths to feed. Since they had chosen to follow him. He wouldn't let them suffer through hard times. You probably won't have time. You've missed several days of basic courses, so you'll have to go to class tomorrow, said Tang Wan Er. What? Long Chen couldn't believe his ears. 